Oh my gosh, yo. I don't know what happened, but my internet went off. Hopefully this goes well. So I'm not even gonna talk too much. We're gonna start the video from the start. This is Darman live reaction. We're gonna be checking out brother sells drugs to feed his sister. What happens is shocking. I'm so mad, bro. Like, damn, like, why is my why is my live stream be kicking out, man? Why does it be kicking out? Let's go ahead and get to it. You can move this work. You be making some money for real, for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm here, man. I'm trying to. Clearly, I ain't got all day. So what's it gonna be, bro? Yo, what you doing here? I'm looking for the main entrance to Bookside High. Yeah, well, it ain't out here, Towelhead. Call him oh. Towelhead, bro. That's crazy. That's foul. You okay, son? Son? Man, I ain't your son. Not you my know, dad. Son. If you don't keep it moving. <laughs> Antoine. Oh. Hey, boo. What are y'all doing out here? Nothing, Miss West. Like, we just giving a nice man directions, you know? You a new teacher? I'll take you. Y'all better hurry up, you're gonna be late. Yeah, we on the way. Yes, ma'am. So what's it gonna be, Antoine? Hey, all right, all right. All right, back in the hood with it, guys. Like I said, we, we're starting this over. So I've seen this part, but I'm gonna still try to crack jokes. I'm gonna still try to crack my jokes, you know, make y'all laugh again. I said, excuse me, class. Turn the music off, please. He said, turn that hood rat jigaboo As you know, Mrs. Smith, bongo music off. <laughs> so this is your new writing teacher, <laughs> Mr. Singh. Does he even speak English? <laughs> Actually, I have a master's in English. Should you be working at 7-Eleven? <laughs> Who? Hey, <laughs> respect him if you don't want to end up in detention. Ooh. Mm. Are you going to be OK? Yes. I've been dealing with this my whole life. Y'all ever had a, a Middle Easter teacher? I had a Middle Easter professor. I couldn't understand a word he said. All right, class. Let's jump right in. He was cool, though. I remember I showed up late to the final. He let me still take it. He better still let me take it? Before I air this whole classroom out. No, I'm kidding. 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 to show you how much fun writing can be. I used to love writing, man. There ain't nothing fun about writing. I got a couple of scripts. Writing is more than just words on paper. A couple of TV series I wrote. Feeling of soft rain falling on our skin. Tyler, thank you for that donation, bro. Spring breeze blowing in our nostrils. Writing is a metaphor for everything in life. I don't know where you live, but we don't get no sweet spring breeze. The only breeze we get is gunpowder. Mm. Nah, no cat. We be busting out here. Like gunpowder. That's a metaphor. I would hate to live in a street like that, a city like that. Every day I walk outside, I gotta, I gotta watch out for someone bust a cap in my ass. Definitely last long. I don't want to, I don't want a cap busting in my ass. Pause, pause, pause. All right, students, raise your hand if you know who wrote this. This man Tyler Hackner said I have Indian friends. No one. <laughs> oh, he is Indian. No, that. It's Shakespeare. I don't know. I think that is Indian. And I believe what he's saying is that if the whole world is a stage. We can choose to be anything we want to be in life. Not anything. Regardless of where we come from. <clears throat> Not here. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Did you want to say something? Yeah, say it with your chest, bro. Like we get a choice. Yeah. Here that's come the emo emotional part. Everybody part. I know that's grown up here, if they're not dead, they're either pushing drugs, gang banging, or locked up. Nobody told you, you to sell drugs. I mean, it's easier said than done. Reality is. <laughs> No, we ain't got a choice. You always have a Out choice. Here, we just some birds trapped in a cage. Yes, yes, like, that's good. Keep it, keep it a buck, guys. Keep it a buck, guys. Honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to hear from all my middle class people. It's like if you was born in the hood or you from the hood, don't even answer. All my middle class people, do you think you will honestly be able to survive growing up in the hood? Do you really think so? Some days I'm like, man, ain't nobody tell y'all to sell drugs. Ain't nobody tell you to gang bang. Ain't nobody tell you to do all this. But then I'm like, ah, oh, that's easier said than done because I don't know what they go through on a daily basis. Like, I don't I don't walk in their shoes. I don't know what what kind of horror they have to see, man. Both <laughs> step in a cage. That's a metaphor. Y'all say hell no. I didn't think so, bro. Right. Don't worry about my name. If anything, you need to worry about when you get your next job. Apu. 
No, nah, I couldn't be a teacher. I would I would throw hands at him. I would have <laughs> I would have had to get a round in, bro. I'm like, nah, man. You gonna have to meet me outside, bro. We gonna shoot the ones right now. I don't care if you're a student, bro. You're not gonna disrespect me like that. I came all the way from India. If I ever go to India, I'll never eat the street food. <laughs> I was watching a TikTok, man. I'm hungry. I'm that shit looked so unsanitary. Uh, left over mac and cheese in the fridge. No, mom ate it all. And here's the mom knocked out on the couch off that Smirnoff 100 proof. She was lit. She was having a bender. She was lit AF. Sorry. Did you touch this money? I had 20 bucks in here. It wasn't me. You know who did it? Ma Dukes. She passed out. Uh, she just drank that 20 bucks. Right. How much she spent on that Smirnoff? That should have only been like eight bucks, 10 bucks max. Okay. Here. Put this together. I'm gonna go to the corner store, okay? So I'll put your jacket on. All right. Put you in a second. I wonder what he's gonna do. You really? Used our food money to buy alcohol. <laughs> she ain't even listening to you, bro. I've learned a long time ago. Don't even try talking to someone who is drunk. You are wasting your time, man. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all are way too young. You're going to learn one day, though. When all your friends around you are doing it. And they peer pressure you. He said, you ready to work? All right, he, gonna, he finna go out and sell drugs with his social boy pants on. Them baggy daddies. All right. Why he look like that? <laughs> can I help you? Got in early. Yeah, it's coming up with a lesson plan for today. You can help me to a blue raspberry really Slurpee. These kids. That was just a joke, guys. Come on. If they can crack jokes, I can crack jokes. These kids don't know Shakespeare. They don't care to know him, honestly. You know, you gotta find a way to relate to them if you want them to take you seriously. <laughs> Talk about a little baby. So how do I do that? Or NBA Definitely Young Boy. Not by talking about some 17th century upper class European. I know they love him. NBA Young Boy down there. Yeah. I uh, want to drop this off for you. It's the annual <clears throat> poetry slam contest. All the inner city kids get to compete. Grand prize is ten thousand dollars. Wow. Ten racks. That's amazing. Woo! Kids won before? For some poetry. Oh, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, no wonder they showed him writing some rap bars in the beginning. Anyways, I gotta go, but remember what I said. Relate to them. Got it. This man, Antoine, this man Antoine's finna be spitting bars. Ooh, Miss Lake, hold on. Relate to them. Got it. Did I see some Thanks gooba gooba? Yeah. Nah, she, she just built like a mom. Good morning, Jesse. I used to listen to Tupac when I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> His lyrics are just so relatable. What? <laughs> that's like that's like someone coming up to you. That's like some white person coming to you, or just non-black person coming up to you and said, "I voted for Obama." <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you want me to do with that information? As soon as you sell it, bring me the cash, and I'll get you some more. Yo, but that's, that's kind of a lot, though, man. Ooh. You can. Ooh. Just so you know. The fresh bread 11s? Those Make are bread 11s, right? Two from this if you sell it all. Pleasure. Thousand. A thousand dollars. Hey, Shouldn't you be in class? Yeah. Yeah, that's just on my way. All right, bro. I'll, uh, I'll catch you after school, you know? I'm gonna finish talking about the class project. Ain't no damn class project. Y'all are, are pushing pills, pushing perks, mollies. Um, Damn, bro! Can you leave that speaker at home? You like those people who go to the gas station with their radio blasting, their stereos just blasting in their car, and they just park there to do nothing. They don't need gas. They don't need anything from the store. They just want to spit game at hoes. <laughs> Can we turn the music off, please? Thank you. Now, how many of you can recognize what's on the board? Ain't nobody trying to read no Shakespeare. <laughs> Ain't nobody asked you, though. Shakespeare. It's actually from a song. That's so many tears. I have my mind full of demons. Correct. Oh, okay. Now, by a show of hands, how many of you know the song? I don't oh, listen to Tupac, guys. Great. Now, how many of us know that the whole song is full of metaphors? 
Yeah, right. I mean, that's what rap is. Metaphors. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at this. That's what rap used to be. <laughs> no, nah, there's still tons of metaphors in rap, bro. Like, I don't think you can listen to a rap song and not hear a metaphor. But usually the metaphors that they're doing is like, uh, uh, I don't know. I smashed your girl. Like, you know, something like that. Something stupid, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not a rapper. I couldn't think of a bar like on the spot. <laughs> I had my mind full of demons trying to break free. Uh, he planted seeds uh, and the head sparking the flame. What do you think he's trying to say here? Emil's Tupac. He's probably wanting to just kill somebody. He's talking about his struggles and temptation. Exactly. And he's doing that using? A metaphor? Yes. And if Tupac can use metaphors, and he grew up in the projects like you, so can you. Which is why I want you to take part in this Poetry Slam. This will what? give you a chance to not only showcase your abilities, but also bring pride to the school. What I'm, what I'm kind of confused about is like, how the hell do they have a Poetry Slam contest for a high school, right? And the grand prize is $10,000. These kids live in the projects. How are you just going to be waving that kind of money around in their face like that? <laughs> How are you going to be living in the projects in your high schools? My high school has never done a competition where they just gave us $10,000. And I grew up in the suburbs. They in the projects, man. Like, if I don't get uh, get my posse, a couple of my homies to rob y'all, like the hell? <laughs> I don't need to win no poetry slam contest. I just need to bring a gun. And the winner gets to win. Ten thousand dollars. Ten rats? That can change my whole family's life. Damn, y'all broke. Ten thousand will change your life? Come on. Y'all acting like people like us win them things? That's actually you guys sad. Really sitting here and listening to this man capping and hyping y'all up in the name of Tupac. Look, I was just trying to find a common ground between us and Well, there is no common ground. You can't relate to the lyrics. Don't try to understand them. Mmm. Okay, so why don't you enlighten me? What's your interpretation of these lyrics? He has his own lyrics. Look uh, at you! You want to talk at all that noise and he says enlighten me and you shut the hell up. Look at you, bro. I hate people who have so much to say and then they don't have anything to say after they say all that thing. You know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Of these lyrics. Like you want to interrupt the whole classroom. He said enlighten me then. <laughs> Show me, nigga. <laughs> and that's when you want to shut up. Yeah. All right, it's okay if you don't want. All right, look, look. there you go. What he's saying, okay, he's trying to be pure, close to God, not fall into temptation. But then there's money, drugs, violence, whatever. It's put him down the wrong path. Those okay. are the things he's talking about. <clears throat> and then we say he's trying to break free. Yeah, it's because he feels trapped, mm. like all of us. Mm. We can't choose where we come from. Maybe Nobody so, can. But we get to choose where we end up. Mm. This is what I meant when I said in class. Okay, we can sing. To be anything we want to be in life. He dropping bars. Yes, we can. No, Screw Tupac Shakur. Shakur. You know what? Check this out. All right, I'm checking. How many of y'all got someone that's grown up here and came out to be a doctor? Hmm? What about a lawyer. Check this one out. What about college graduate. What about weed man? Watch them all raise their hand. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you see. You keep telling us we could be anything we want to in life like you know our lives. You don't. You don't know what it's like to grow up in Jordan Down's project without a pot to pee in. When your daddy's locked up, your mom's an alcoholic, so you gotta take care of your baby sister all by yourself. I shouldn't be laughing, bro. I shouldn't be laughing, but it's like, <laughs> you're over here yelling at me, bro. Go to a therapist. I don't know what to say after that. I'm like, damn, bro, you dropping some heavy shit on me right now, man. Like, I just wanted a teaching job. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to do, bro. Your mom, you say your mom's an alcoholic? Damn. Well, I'm sorry. Like, what do you want me to do about it? What do you want me to do? You want me to take you to India with me? Jordan Down's project without a pot to pee in. Without a your pot to pee in. Your mom's an alcoholic, so you Ugh. gotta take care of your baby sister all by yourself? All by yourself? Do you know- Don't, don't cry, bro. That's embarrassing. what I go through, trying to tell me that I could be anything I want to in life? So you just think I want to be my family's caretaker then? Mmm. 
That's really hard, Antoine. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was sorry. Is he better? He's better. Sorry. What you better do? That ain't gonna bring my sister dinner when my mom used that money on liquor, is it? You don't know anything about what I go through. You know nothing, nothing. So don't stand there talking like you do. Don't don't stand there preaching to us like about some poetry contest. You good? I can't take this now. I'm out of here. Yeah, you can't show your face again, bro. Wait. Sorry, class. I'll be right back. Antoine. You cried. Stop. Hold on. That ain't no thug cry either. That was a you cry. <laughs> nah. Have you ever been so frustrated you cry? Those be the worst. Those be the absolute worst. No, I think anger cry be the worst. Cause like you're so pissed and then you start crying, like you know you you embarrassing yourself. <laughs> but frustration cry, oh my god. I think I've done that once in my life. It was back in high school, and like I wasn't a bad kid. I just had a teacher who didn't like me, bro. Oh my gosh. Like she literally Called the cops. Yes, the actual police. The popo. 5-0. The pigs. She called the cops on me before I even stepped in the classroom because, like, the previous day, like, me and her got in an argument. So, the next day, she calls the cops on me before I even enter the classroom talking about, oh, I don't even want to deal with you today. They're going to escort you to an alternate classroom, this and that. And I was frustrated as hell. I cried in front of some cops. They were probably laughing at me. <laughs> I was the only Indian kid with a turban in my neighborhood. Oh, he got tears too. That. All my life, people have been calling me names. Apu. Tavilhead. Yep. Terrorist. Yep. Asking me to go back to my country. I used to come home with black eyes from school. Bruises all over my body. Kids ripping my turban off. Ooh. Kicking me. Ooh. Thinking it was funny. My life hasn't been easy either, Antoine. But even after I went through all of that, I decided to move Frank, forward with my thank life. Thank you for subscribing, man. And so can you. And that's all I'm asking you to do. All right. Don't sell them I, pills, man. I don't have time for this right now. Oh, he's going to go sell them. What he said, pot to pee in, that's also a metaphor. You're a smart kid, Edward. Smarter than you think. I want I want to hear one of his songs. I want to see if he got bars or not. Abel. Oh, this is the plug. That's the pill man. You don't decline the pill man, bro. She hungry again? I'm hungry. Damn, girl! No, 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 I forgot it's the next day. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, my bad. My bad, time, that'll be. And she forgot to pack me lunch today, so I haven't eaten. Kids be so hilarious. Like, if you don't physically give them food, go get you some food. They won't eat. <laughs> Thanks, I love you. Aww. Man, I wonder if I was a pain in the ass to my older siblings. So I was the youngest, so I never had to like take care of anybody. That's why I don't want kids either. Who wants to take care of something? That's why I don't even want a dog. I like my life. Just the Yo, way it is. I'm calling you. Yeah, sorry, man. I, I'll um, come meet you at the spot right now, man. Um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit, though. Okay. Did you even sell any of the pills? I don't think he's going to just take a return. This ain't Walmart. He wants his money. Oh, I know those moments. I don't want to do this. Just man, be my family. Man, I know those moments where you talk to God and you just you just so for real. No. Give me a sign or something. I had one of those talks with God when I thought I gotta go pregnant. I can laugh about it now because like it's past tense. But in the moment. <laughs> You would have thought I was a priest, man. I was speaking in tongues. I was speaking in tongues and everything, man. I was like, God, I've seen you do it for other people. Do it for me, man. And he did, bro. He did. He came through. He pulled through, bro. Hell yeah. Sorry, God. But you know. <laughs> I'm dead. 
Charmander Miranda, thank you so much for that dollar donation, bro. And Meth Meth, thank you so much for that donation. Hi, Prince. This is my first time sending a donation. Well, thank you, Murf Meth Meth. Thank you so much. I was, whoo! Best believe I was hitting everything, man. I fasted, speaking in tongues, had my Bible up. Ooh, did Mr. Singh get him some groceries? You can choose to be anything you want to in life, regardless of. Wow. Wow. You better not sell those drugs now. You got groceries. But she gotta eat the booty like groceries. I might let you show fur for me. We got food. But you gotta eat the booty like groceries. What an insane like thing to wrap my head around. People literally can't afford to eat. A basic human need that everybody should have the right to. And people can't afford it sometimes. With Mr. Singh's encouragement. That is so sad. Like everyone deserves to eat. Antoine decides to enter the contest. It'll be so hilarious if he loses. <laughs> Mr. Singh's like, sorry man, I thought you had bars. He practices for it at school. <laughs> but obviously it's Darman. man. He's gonna make During him win. Lunch, He's like, why are you reading, man? Reading is for nerds. Like, bro, I don't want to end up like you. Every eating Cheetos outside this class, outside of school when I'm 22. As time goes by, I know those people. everyone with how talented he is. Those people who never graduated high school, who like, they graduated high school, but they love staying then around high school. the day of the competition. Because that was their but peak. where I heard that music. I cannot rightly tell. Oh, the juxtaposition. I only know that I heard it. They have this white boy singing. I mean, and that I know full well. White boy doing some like. I heard a little music. You know. And all. <laughs> poetry, poetry. The sky was blue. They finna have Antoine coming out a busting a rap. <laughs> As little waters do. You finna hear <laughs> Maybach music. Maybach music. That was <laughs> What's up, Antoine? But most definitely not least. Where you at, where you at Antoine? Wow. Oh, um, our first time getting someone from Bookside. Oh. Please put your hands together. Wow. For Antoine Joe. So this isn't like their high school. It's like a all high school thing, I guess. And baggy, baggy daddies. Them jeans are very baggy, my guy. You don't got a tailor? You afraid of a tailor? Hi. Uh, my name's Antoine. That's his worst fear. And the poem that I'm going <laughs> Four to fitting clothes. <laughs> say today is uh, called Crossroads. All right. Represents, uh, let's hear it. A place in my life that I've recently found myself at. Let's hear it, bro. Yeah, let's go, Antoine. Murder on the beat, so it's not nice. <laughs> oh, don't get stage fright. He put on the orange turban. He, he said, I, I gotta let these niggas know. I can accessorize. Okay, you going off the dome? Ugh. Crossroads of my mind. Oh, he's not gonna rap it. Okay. And on one path, it's the life I always dreamed of. Okay, Drizzy Drake. But then a storm called reality kicks in <clears throat> and wipes it all out like Katrina. Pen to paper, let the words just pour from my skin. But the stench of my mom's alcohol breath starts to sink in. You was airing your mother's business to everybody. <laughs> He's telling everybody who can hear that his mom's a worthless drunk. <laughs> like, damn, bro, you airing your mom's dirty laundry to everybody. Yo, if I had an alcoholic mom, y'all would never know. I'll tell you that much. But this is for $10,000. It is for $10,000. So maybe, maybe. It's not like he, it's not like he likes his mom anyways. Placed with Air her out. Blowing with stress and anxiety. Because somebody's got to make sure my little sister eats. You're scaring me, Antoine. Crossroads of my mind. You hungry? We all get to choose the role we play in this life. For some of us, we don't get a say in this life. 
I think everybody gets eh. Words don't put food on the table, Antoine. That's what his mom said to him. Put the notebooks away in this life. Because <laughs> life is like a box of chocolates. Okay, where's that from? Forrest Gump? For some of us, uh, the chocolates ain't even inside. Ooh, who ate my chocolates? Mmm, uh, look at her. Look at that lady! <laughs> she said, uh, word my Negro. <laughs> she felt that. Son. She said, word my Negro. And just like that, crossroads become a path of destruction survival masked as illegal activity your freedom abducted everybody Jesus got a tupac shirt on when the world gives you nothing and now you're a prisoner to the system the system <laughs> the keys to success can't unlock them chains mm -mm. That little, you see that white guilt <laughs> uh, bask in it this now or nothing, Antoine. And then he pulls out a gun and just starts firing. You gotta decide. It's now or never. Metaphors or a life of crime. Take a chance on yourself, Antoine. You got the pen this time. Ooh! Okay. End it right there. End it right there. Don't say another word. There you go. There you go. Go ahead and give me the $10,000. <laughs> Cash only. I don't have a bank account. Don't give me a check. <laughs> Cash only. You did amazing. For real? Yes. I'm so proud of you. Did he win though? From your heart and you told your story. Audience love. Like I said, it'll be hilarious. If, what if that white boy won the one that I showed to win. before? God knows I used that money. Oh. I just got word. Let's and hear the it. The winner of the fifth annual Poetry Slam competition is. They're going to say Skeeter. Oh, oh man, I won. I won. <laughs> Did Skeeter win? This man is dealing drugs this out in the public? Oh, bro, you, 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 you didn't even try in life. You didn't even try. You have no finesse. It's like you want to get arrested. Those judges were tripping. Oh, he didn't win. He didn't win. Still really impressive. Wow. Who won? Did Skeeter win? I kind of wish it came with some money. You know, uh, thank you for watching. Sorry for me. I'll see y'all at school tomorrow. It's my boy, my boy Skeeter I won. I sell a hot dogs in the corner. Do you think I could get one? Um, I'll find you something at home. Yeah, we hey, eat street glizzies. No food at home either, so you just got what groceries. Are you do? Hey, Antoine. Yeah. You're not gonna believe this. Wow. That kid is a piranha. You know Connor, the boy who won the first prize. Mm -hmm. oh, his name was Connor. Well, it turns out that what he read wasn't his original work. He used Chat GPT. Oh. Yeah. Which means Connor, you bad boy. You one. I just said not a check, man. I'm from serious? the projects. I don't have a bank account. Gosh. Congratulations, now I got to go to a, a, a check cashing place and they're going to take a fee. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I still can't believe this. It's... Ugh. Thank you, Mr. Singh. I really couldn't have done this without you. Just look at how many opportunities that come your way. This check is one of many. Does this mean we'll be able to get food now? Damn, girl! We're gonna, have food. We're gonna eat! We're gonna have a feast. I promise you, you're never gonna be hungry. Oh, he's talking about some food. I just got paid. Can I cash it first? Yep. What did I just say? Yo, stupid ass doing it out in the open. It's like you didn't even try. Yeah, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I'm glad you chose writing. Oh. Yeah, tell me about it. You know what? Let's all go get something to eat. It's my treat. He said, let's go to 7-Eleven. Apparently, I got to stop at a bank. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't got no bank, Can I ask you another question? Whoa. You, you, want, you want more food? Okay. 
I know not lots of writers come from here. Of course you can, Zari. Because like a wise person once told me, the whole world's a stage you can and choose to be oh. anything you want to be in life. Never mind. Regardless of where you come from. Do I think I can become president? Who knows? It's not like I've tried. Like, let's be honest with ourselves. Like, it's not like we all try to become president. So it's not, you can't just say, no, you can't become president. It's not like we tried, you know? Like, imagine if we actually try to become president. I think I would get pretty far, if not win. Like, come on. First YouTuber who's president? That'd be a good, uh, that'd be a good slogan. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> Next up, we got wife mistreats disabled husband. She lives to regret it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm, I'm going to crack too many jokes. No, nah, I'm going to crack jokes. I know he's not really disabled. Y'all got to realize it's just for shows, just acting. My boy Nemo, he said, Prince, I looked you up with makeup. You look zesty. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. Call me. He said, just found out I'm 1.8% African. Can I say the word? <laughs> you know what, bro? 1.8% African. You know what? <laughs> I feel like, nah, there's no way. I was going to say, I feel like I'm 1.8% white by those odds, but no, no, no. I'm 101% African. <laughs> Trust me on that. Ain't no Caucasian in this blood. But no, you can't say the word. But me telling you you can't say it, I highly doubt it's gonna stop you from saying it. Like we we all know whenever white people listen to rap music in their car with no black people around. Nigga this, nigga that. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you think they 50 cent the way they talk. All right, let's get into this video. Wife mistreats disabled husband. She lives to regret it. I wonder what she does. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I don't have time for this, Cameron. Aww. Now we have to clean you up. This is gonna make me feel bad. Bring a napkin, Alexander, please, quick. Tell me, guys, answer this question. If you're paralyzed like this, I, it seems like he can't move neck down, like he's quadriplegic. If you were quadriplegic, be honest, would you want to continue living? Knock on wood, God forbid, it'll never happen to any of us, but like, I don't know, man, bro. I can't move my legs or arms like just my legs. I would already want to blow my brains out, but I, I, I'll probably stick it out, but I can't move anything. The only thing I can do is raise my eyebrows. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God, just take me now, bro. <laughs> Let me kick it with God, bro. What the hell I need to live in this earth for? Yes, ma'am. Oh, here, let me get that. Thank you. There you go. All better. Did you want me to finish feeding him for you, ma'am? She on Tinder? Oh, I may be a little late. My annoying husband. Oh, no, it's all right. You're going to hell. Finish the dishes. I'll try it again one more time. Of course, ma'am. Oh, if you don't want to be with him, just divorce him, bro. Don't treat him like furniture. Here we go. You know that Nancy has oatmeal. No wonder he's not eating it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Seriously, Cameron? What? I mean. You're not paying attention. I was trying to. I cannot deal with this. Okay, I have a lot of things to do. I have a nail appointment. Whew. She got a nail appointment. And finish feeding him? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I gotta go. She got a nail appointment, oh, no. guys. No, she no, can't no. right now. She you literally can't dishes, even. He can wait. Yes, ma'am. Oh, what now? This guy needs help, bro. Probably the lawyer. She better have some good news. She probably with him because he has money. Probably. Hello. Or because he's gonna get like a insurance what? check. What does that mean? The settlement discussions aren't going well. Ooh. Getting nothing? He's gonna be quadriplegic no. and broke? No, no, they're gonna pay up for the mountain of problems they caused me. Straight up. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, all right, fine. Straight up. Take care of it. Straight up, bro. No, uh, Travis Scott. Well. Lydia is saying we may not be getting anything. Lydia can suck my left nut. I'm getting something. All right, I gotta go. I'll be back in a few hours. Wait, no, I have to go to my physical therapy at the hospital. Again? 
Yes, Did I want to walk. Like two days ago. <laughs> I want to walk. <laughs> it's fine. Alexandra will take you. Oh, I would, ma'am, but my car doesn't have the wheelchair ramp. Only yours does. You Poor know, guy, man. Poor guy. It's really annoying that I have to inconvenience myself to take care of you. Hurry up. All right. I'll drop you off at the hospital and I'll pick you up later, okay? Yes, ma'am. Come on. Here. I'll feed you in the car. Oh, this makes me sad. Hey, Alexandra. I need to talk to you about something. Okay. What is you it? You're pooping in your diaper? Well, since it seems like we're not getting anything from the settlement, I don't know if we're going to be able to pay you next month. I was banking. You can you can pay her you can pay her in me. <laughs> no, I, no, shut up, Prince. Thank you. I've done that transaction a couple of times. I wish my wife was as kind as you. But as I was saying, it's. Oh. Don't worry about it, Cameron. Focus on your recovery. I'll continue to work for you, even if you can't pay me. Cap. Because I believe. Oh, maybe the way not. You treat people, always comes back to you. Ooh! That just made my heart okay, skip a beat. Mr. Williams, we're ready for you. <clears throat> it's okay. You can just wait here as usual. I can do this on my own. I mean, I don't know if you can do it. Uh, probably. Cheers to our six month anniversary. Six months you've been cheating on your husband? Cheers. And you don't feel you don't feel a little All bit right. of guilt? I'm not sure how much there is to cheers, given what the attorney said. Uh, she I just mean, wanted the money. I'm trying to put pressure on the insurance company to settle too. Hopefully they'll listen. So, if there isn't any money, are you gonna still stay with Cameron or Are you kidding? I can't take another week with him. It's worse than taking care of a child. Mm. She says screw in sickness and health. Speak of the devil. I gotta go. But I'll see you for dinner at six. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Being cheated on it has to be one of the worst feelings in the world. Darn man and this spaghetti, bro. At least that spaghetti looks good. Eh, it looks edible. Yo, slow down! Come on, Cameron. You make him choke. Too slow. I'm going, uh, 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 hmm. mm. oh. Ooh. I thought you were gonna get your nails done. Oh, I um. I got some I dick can instead. Find a color I like. <laughs> hope. Hope. Hope, hope. <laughs> oh, he can get like pneumonia, like his food will get stuck anymore. in like your. I don't know. Stacy. I don't know. What I'm Alexandra, about. when you're done with the trash, can you finish feeding him, please? Thank you. You want to do a 360 yes. for me, baby girl? Ooh, ooh. Wow. She, she, she ooh, you're ooh. You're really dressed up for a dinner with Stacy. Yeah. It's like he knows he's being cuckolded. Everyone's dressed up. Like he knows he's being cuckolded, but you know what can he do about it? What do you expect me to do? Hmm? Just sit at home, miserable, Ooh. in pajamas, taking care of you? She's not even gonna cover it no more. She's like, yeah, I'm going on a date. So what? Well, when are you gonna be home? Oh, you're gonna ask her when she's gonna be home from her date? Oh gosh, down bad, bro. Down bad. He's gonna shack up with her. Oh, slow down. Take your time. So, um, I know it's none of my business, but, um, if you don't mind me asking, I was wondering what happened. I actually, I actually want to know too. Yeah, she wasn't always. No, how did you get in the accident? Well, maybe she was. Well, never mind, I guess. A little bit. We're not After gonna know. the accident, it's just. Well, no, no, no. I mean,. Like what caused the accident? Were you on your phone? I mean, driving. I was talking about the accident. I just I never heard the story. 
If you don't want to talk about it, I understand. Did you fall off the roof? No, it's okay. All right, everybody, put your guesses in. I'm gonna, okay, the guesses are car accident, um, f falling off a tall building or falling a great distance. Um, he got his ass whooped. That's probably not gonna be it. And then four, we'll just say, um, I don't know. Four will, uh, four will say, uh, how else do you end up a quadriplegic? Four will say a disease. Screw it. I could tell you. It's either, honestly, it's either fell off a roof or hit by a car. See. Let's see what it is. It's hit by a Three car. Three months ago, we were coming home and Rose was driving. So she was driving. Was in the passenger seat. You were she even driving. me about something I can't even remember. And then out of nowhere, I looked up and I saw a car coming towards us. Car accident. I tried to warn Rose, but it was too late. So she was the one who put you in the chair and she has the nerve. She car has, oh my ended up gosh. crashing into the passenger side of our car. She's wearing I glasses. Up, That's how you know she's a smart doctor. in the hospital, paralyzed, neck down. Mm. The doctor said that I was lucky to be alive. Screw you, lucky to be alive? Luckily, Rose and the other driver were able to get away with barely a scratch. So you see, Hell no, nah, bro. You That's were the one driving and you got out with a scratch. Oh my gosh. What kind of terrible luck is that? That's so horrible. Uh, did it happen at night? No, it happened during the day. This man says Stephen Hawking 2.0. I just find it odd that she didn't see the car during the day. Oh my gosh. Did she do the accident on purpose? You don't mind, do you? No, of course. Oh, hell no. Are you telling me she crashed this man purposely solely for a settlement check? This man is going to be paralyzed from the neck down solely because his money grubbing whore of a wife wanted a settlement check. Dude, no, bro. I, God, let me never meet a, a, a gold digging asshole ever like this in my life, bro. That is willing to paralyze me just so she can get a bit of coin. She can get a bit, a bit of, a bit of paper, some Benjamin Franklin's. My ability to walk and wipe my own ass was eliminated because she wanted some LV purses. Oh my gosh, nope. Hello. Oh, hey Lydia. You don't say. Did? Wow. Did he get the settlement? No, that's fantastic. He did. Uh, great work. No, I'll let her know. Okay. Take care. Don't let her know nothing, bro. She gonna Good get news? to spend it. The best. Uh, can you call uh, Rose up? Oh, sure. I'm sprung. How'd she get me? Get Voice me mail. doing oh. things you. You, you know, know you know what she's doing, bro. Come on. Why don't we go and surprise her? I'm sure she'll be really excited. Maybe he doesn't okay. know. Oh gosh. Uh, but I don't have the wheelchair ramp. Remember? Okay. Good. Uh. He doesn't need to oh walk in God. on that. We'll be fine. Oh, he can walk. Uh, all right. He can he can walk. I think he can walk, guys. Here we are. Enjoy. Thank you. Mm -mm. Ew, that chocolate cake was dry as hell. Yuck. Ew. Enjoy. Thank you. Happy six months. This man finna walk in and crip walking. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what's up, Rose? <laughs> he gonna be crip walking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he gonna bust in the moonwalk. <laughs> I don't have to deal with Cameron anymore. Starting next week. Oh my gosh, man. Show, show us your moves, Cameron. Yeah. You gonna be hitting the gritty? No. <laughs> Take me to them. Six months. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, she did it. Who hit us with his car? 
So this accident wasn't a... This is a jailable offense. What are you doing here, Cameron? You set this whole thing up. <sighs> it makes sense, too, because you didn't see the car coming. Neither of you are hurt. They paralyzed. Oh, I don't think he's paralyzed no more. been dating six months. Way before that this whole accident. Oh, happened. it was before. I mean, I, I guess that's pretty Do obvious. Don't leave. Oh, she left. Wow. Said, what are you doing here, Cameron? I just wanted to come by and give you the good news. The insurance company. They settled. Okay, maybe maybe he can't walk. Mm. How much? One million dollars. Ooh! Yeah. Still not worth it. You can't move, bro. Still not worth You're it. You're not gonna see a dime of that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you know what I've been through to get this money? How much? Are you? How much dick she had to swallow? <laughs> oh, Rose, you are something else. I will make sure that you don't get anything. I'm. The one that got injured. You need to make sure she goes That's to jail. Like. Because even if you try to cut me out, we're married. I would need this woman Remember, locked the F up. California is a community property state. That's why so you don't get I'm married, guys. Oh, this is why you don't get married. <laughs> we're not married anymore. No. I'm done. You know what? You're not gonna need any money where you're going. No. You going to jail now? Neither are you. You going to jail now? What did I tell y'all? Hit the gritty. Because. Hit the gritty. <laughs> because. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone the truth. <laughs> you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm almost at full recovery. Let's get it, bro. See, if you would have went to my physical therapy sessions, you would have known that. He said, am my dick working again? Because I wanted to see the way you would treat me before the settlement. Oh. In sickness and in health. I see your true colors. Why don't you enjoy the rest of your anniversary? Because the next meal he'll be having will be in jail. <laughs> But like it's not like he has. No. Oh no. wow. Cameron. Okay. Cameron, no. No. You they said. They this. said. Screw the evidence. You can't, you can't do this, Cameron. No. I can't go to jail. Well, you're going to jail, though. <laughs> you're welcome. You're going to jail. I just can't believe she's so evil, and that you can walk. It's time to hook up with your housemaid. Well, I have another surprise for you. It's time to do the help. I decided what I want to do with the rest of the settlement. I'm going to spend it on you, baby girl. Well, I love you. I want you. The way you treat people has a way of coming back to you. Okay. I got you. Oh, wow. I thought they were going to get together. Maybe not. Maybe not. I guess, I guess he wanted to leave it up to the imagination. Um... Doing the help, never a good idea. <laughs> Especially when you become a million dollars richer. <laughs> it's never a good idea. All right, all right. Hope you guys are enjoying it. We have plenty more videos to go. Don't go anywhere. Sanuji sign or seeing. Wow, we just saw, um, well, that's a common last name. Never mind. Me and my dad used to watch Darman together. I, I respect it. You know, father son bonding time. Is that the only time you got with your dad? Before he went to the store to get some milk. I swear he's coming back. He, he, he's just lost. He doesn't know what Isle of the Milk's on. Okay, buddy. <laughs> DJ, thank you for so much for becoming a member, bro. Appreciate you so much. Sing, I hope you know I was just messing with you, man. Hope you don't hate me. <laughs> All right. Teen caught shoplifting red-handed. She lives to regret it. Let's get it. This is the girl you're thirsting over? <laughs> no way. That's awesome. No way. Ah! 
<laughs> no, I'm not gonna say nothing. She's cute. She's cute, but it's like she's not slow motion music cute. <laughs> Most women aren't. The only girl right now to me, nah, I can't even say that because that's not even that's that's more lust. I was gonna say Ice Spice. I love me some Ice Spice right now, but I know that's lust. That's just all lust. But Ice Spice will get some slow mo music. <laughs> you know who else will get some slow mo music? Not Zendaya, I'll tell you that. I don't know what is the crazy Zendaya. She's pretty, but. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, hi, Raven. Do I know you? And she's a bitch. Yeah, it's me, Sheldon. We've gone to school together ever since the seventh grade. Well, middle of the seventh grade, ever since your family moved to Agora from San Francisco. I was in your Spanish class last year. If they still don't remember you, just stop. Geometry the year Bro, just stop. Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. Uh, well, let me know if you need help with anything. Oh my gosh. You blew it, man. Anyway, what were we talking You're about? You're not the Rizzler. I seriously have no clue who that is. Can we focus, please? What is this? This is cute. And it's on sale. Cute is not gonna cut it. I'm going out with Brady. I need him to fall head over heels for me when he sees me in this dress. You know how to get a guy to fall head over heels for you? You give him head <gasps> while you're on your knees wearing heels. What about this one? Yeah. Get it? This is the one. Ugh, hundred dollars. That's so expensive. Really? I thought that's what girls would spend on a nice dress. A hundred dollars, right? No? I don't know I how much girls spend. Sixty-seven dollars on me. Can I borrow the rest? I'm broke as a joke. Why can't you just ask your mom for her credit card? No, oh, she took it away after she saw last month's statement. Apparently, she wasn't too happy about all the Ulta purchases. Just find another dress. No, it has to be this dress. I need it. If only there was a way that I could get a disc. Oh. Oh, Sheldon, please don't fall for it. He's going to fall for it. Come on. Hey, Shelby. <laughs> He's falling what? for it. Y'all saw his face? Hey. That's the man of a fa That's the face of a man who's about to fall for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's going to whisper some 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 bullshit in his ear. He's going to fall for it straight up. <laughs> Sheldon, no. <laughs> Don't do it, Sheldon. Please have self-respect, Sheldon. Come on, bro. Your name is Sheldon. We all know anybody named Sheldon has zero self-respect. Shelby, right? Oh, Sheldon. Right. I remember you now. We had Spanish class together, right? El hora mi etiquero. Um, sorry. Hora de... Recuerdo. He corrected that, that you. Was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he corrected I you. I bet you get like an employee discount here, right? Um, yeah, forty percent. It's pretty Ooh, nice. Ooh, forty percent. Nice. Perfect. Do you think I? Look, look. I, I know I'm pausing a lot, but look, guys. Honestly, man, if a girl is able to swindle you in this sort of way, I always. I tend to put the blame more on the men than the woman. Because this is what women do. It's not new. They've been doing it since the beginnings of time. The oldest profession is prostitution. That's the oldest job in the world. This is nothing new. So if you're if if you fall for for you know women so easily, I don't I don't feel bad for you. If you're able to get hoodwinked swindled because a girl just whispered some good stuff in your ear and you just melted and you gave her everything you're worth that's your damn fault bro i don't blame anybody else but you if you're able to fall for the scam like 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 it's it's like this most of the time i will blame the person who got scammed not the person who's doing the scamming why i why do i why do i blame the person who got scammed because like how dumb do you gotta be to get scammed Granted, a lot of scams. No, some scams these days they are pretty smart. But like, come on, man, you gotta be smart. Employee discount to buy this dress. Oh, um, I'll let you see me in it. Look, uh, I totally would, but I'm not allowed to do that. Sorry. Well, it's not like there's anyone else around to know, right? Come on, Sheldon. 
Stand up for it's yourself. My grandma's oh, she's giving you the eyes. Wedding. Your grandma's getting married? How old is she? Uh, sorry. I meant funeral. and I'm, I'm just a little bit... You're emotional. gonna wear that to a funeral? I just loved her so much. It's pink and glittery. You're gonna wear a shiny pink dress to a funeral. Always gotta be center mm -hmm. of attention. Yeah. Yeah, she, she was more like a glamma than a grandma. So she, she would have wanted me to, to wear this. I, I just miss her so much. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. Come on, don't do it. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll do it this once, okay? For your grandma. Oh, thanks. We knew this was going to happen. Best. Gosh, you know, I, I just wish I knew you sooner. You seem really nice. We already well, knew well, this was going to happen, bro. Like, want to give me your number? Maybe we could <laughs> hang out sometime. Sorry, got to go. <laughs> bro. You want my number? Yeah. Of course, let me let me see your phone. Oh my gosh, Sheldon. Sheldon thinks he just got himself a hot date. <laughs> I don't even think that's her number. Sweet. That is so not her number. So <laughs> He's gonna be like, I, I called you 12 times last night. You didn't get my call? I honestly think he's gonna ask me to be his For, for some strange reason, when I called that number, they said, welcome to Jimmy John's. I didn't know you worked at Jimmy John's. <laughs> you own Jimmy John's? <laughs> uh, Look at that, that sweater. I, I tried calling you yesterday, but it said your number got disconnected. You did? That's so weird. Look, I'm not trying to be rude, but we're in the middle of talking about something really important. She already has her dress, oh, so she don't need sorry, Sheldon I'll no just, more. Uh, try the number again later. <laughs> okay. You See, I want to defend you, but you do stuff like that. So wrong. What do I look like? Mother Teresa. I wasn't about to give him my real number. <clears throat> hey, Brady. Hey, I was just going to text you. I got invited to a college party. That's Brady? Yeah, we'll come. I right, cool. I'll text you the days later. See ya. Okay. All right, she's feeling a little midnight blue. Oh, and I uh, love that pink dress you wore last night. Can't wait to see what you wear at night. Oh, Did we just you're busted. I think Sheldon heard. What's wrong? I have no idea what I'm going to wear. Oh, okay, no, Sheldon didn't hear. She needs a new dress. Damn, Butterfingers. Yeah, I can see why girls don't like you. <laughs> Where are you going? Hey, Shelby. <laughs> Sorry about earlier. No, I definitely you thought Bra Brady was white. I thought we was finna see some, like, baseball-looking type or swimmer-looking white boy, but no, we got... We got Brady. We got Brady, bro. What number do you have? We got Brady, Brady, um, or Sheldon. <laughs> B Brady. That's what his nickname and, is. Yeah, uh, no worries. His street name, B Brady uh, or B Rad. Five 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 six three four three. Oops, it's six three five three, not four. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Is this even her real number this time? Cool. If she was smart, that on my phone. if she was smart, she'll actually give him the real number. Maybe I'll try calling you later. Actually, I was thinking maybe I could come to you. Are you working again after school by chance? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, Sheldon. What's this dress for? Hopefully not another funeral. <laughs> no, uh, it's actually for, um, Raven. What do you think about this dress for the college party tonight? <coughs> I completely forgot I had it. You're going to a college party tonight? That's so cool. I always wanted to go to one or any party in general for. <laughs> That's that so matter. sad. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Sheldon. I'll invite you to my Your party. Total comes to two hundred and nineteen dollars and sixty-two cents. You see, tax. at least, at least he is just using his discount. He's just hooking them up with his discount. He's not actually buying the dress. So really. He's stealing from the company, you know. The company is giving her money, you know, because you're, he's using his discount. If he was, like, actually paying for the dress out of pocket, that would be down bad, like, ter tremendously, horrendously, egregiously. But he's just giving her his discount. So that's still, you know, simping to an extent. But it's not like he's actually spending his own money on her. That's a huge difference. So, Sheldon, I'm not going to be too hard on you, man. I'm not going to be too hard. I cannot afford $200. No problem. Just put it on my credit card. Oh no, I forgot my card at home. Oh, 
I'm so stupid. Hey, don't say that about yourself. <laughs> we, we all make mistakes. He is so. I just don't understand how he's such a sweet boy. Stress. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna uh, do. I would offer you my discount again, but my manager's in the back. Someone says Sheldon looked like a. Be able to pay for it. <laughs> Sheldon looked like a Whoville uh, Trayvon. You buy this dress for me. I mean, I would for sure pay you back. I don't know. That's a lot of money, and I don't even know if I have that much. Oh, he's gonna buy it. Dress for me. Oh. I mean, I would for sure pay you. Back. I just paused the video. I don't know. That's a lot of money. Sheldon. I don't even know if I have that much. Well, could you check your credit card and see if it works? Please? I mean, I can meet up with you later tonight and pay you back then. They all look like who's. I thought you were going to a party tonight. Yeah. Uh, you can come with me and I can pay you back then. Really? Oh. You're inviting me to the party? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're buying this dress for me, it's the least. <sighs> Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. So, has, what do you say? Has no one ever taught you about women? Okay. Oh, Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Vol, vol, Volumoon. Thank you so much for becoming a member of Charming. Appreciate you, Volumon. Loading. Sorry for <laughs> sending NSW in your stream. <laughs> did you did you send that in the Discord? You the reason why I had to stop the stream. <clears throat> Sheldon look like he going to the Scholastic Book Fair. Hey, it's Raven. You know what to do. Damn. At least she gave you her real number. Uh, hey, Raven. It's Sheldon again. Uh, just checking to see if we're still going to the party together. So sad. Let me know. So so sad. She off at the party with Brady right now, throwing throwing them pancakes. That's why. <laughs> yep. <laughs> at least she's not throwing her pancakes. Oh, she about to. She chugging. She going. Th she gonna be throwing pancakes pretty soon. You better get to that party, boy. It could be you. Look at her. Look at her prowling. Are you seriously gonna do this again? You literally stood him up last night. What else do you expect me to do? Brady's taking me to a bar tonight. Can you believe it? I just know he's going to ask me to be his girl officially. A bar? You guys are both under 21. How are you going to get in? I was just about to say that. Brady? And he's going to find a way to sneak me in. I'm sorry. I can't be a part of this. I'll be outside. How the hell are you going to sneak you in? He going to put you in his pocket? All right. Let's see it. Let's see it. Hey, Shelby. Look, I know you're upset about last night, but don't be. I left my phone at home and I didn't see any of your calls and texts until the Is he party finally was over. seeing through this? I'm so sorry. Please tell me you are. If you left your phone at home, then how are you posting on Instagram? Thank you. I saw your story. Thank you. We took those videos on Julie's phone. And then I logged into IG from there. It's Don't. fine. Uh, but I do need that money that I've let you borrow. You're not yeah, getting it. Of course. You're and not that's getting actually it. what I came here to talk to you about. <laughs> you see, I had the cash with me last night, but then my purse was stolen at the party, and now I don't have the money anymore. This is why you don't lend people money. I promise you guys, at best, at best, you get the money you lent out back. That's at best. Usually it doesn't work out that way, especially lending money to friends. They're gonna be like like, damn, bro, I'm going to give you your money. Relax. Like, you you were so eager and happy to take my money. Now that I'm asking for it back, it's suddenly an issue. I'm suddenly annoying. I'm suddenly so demanding. Don't lend money to people. It never goes well. Trust me. Never. All right. That's fine. Just get it to me when you can. Look, I know this week's been rough <clears throat> with wrong numbers, forgotten phones, and stolen purses. But the truth is... Uh, I'm actually just a little nervous around you. Is he buying this? I like you. That's the only reason. Is he buying it? So off. You like me? Sheldon! Yeah. And to make it up to you, I want to take you out on a date. Sheldon! Tomorrow night. What do you say? I, I, I'd like that. I, I'd like that a lot. Okay, great. But first, I just have one small... Teeny tiny little He's gonna fold, bro. He's gonna fold like some origami paper. Uh, do you think you can add it to my tab? 
Please, it's for a job interview. I need a new job so I can pay you back. He's gonna fold like a lawn chair. Look, even if I wanted to help, I, I don't have any money left until my next deposit hits. I have like $20 to my name. The other day when you gave me a discount, were you able to put in any discount you wanted? Yeah. Oh Why? no, Sheldon, please Do you don't. think you can put in, <laughs> I don't know. 99%? Hundred percent discount. Oh wow, she don't, she don't want to pay shit. No way! Come on, I'll bring it back tomorrow. It will be like it was. Sheldon. No, Raven, I can't do that. Sheldon the new Nelson. Not only is it wrong, I could lose my job. <clears throat> I can't believe you're going to prioritize yourself over me. On my lowest moment, Sheldon. Oh my gosh. You got my name right. Of course I did, because I told you I like you, and I really need your help right now. He's gonna fold. He's folding. He's folding just like your yeah. mom's backs. They're big. I don't Unbig your back. Like you got folds. <laughs> you can do what you want, but I'll be putting away clothes. So he's basically saying like, if you steal it, I'm not gonna stop Thanks, you. You're the best. Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Sheldon, 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 Sheldon. What's going on, Sheldon? Shoot the sensor. Ma'am, I'm gonna need to see your receipt. Uh, Damn, man. I, I, I don't have one. I don't wanna mess with him. He put it in my bag and told me to take it because he likes me. What? That's not true. You have to believe me, sir. He's a little obsessed with me, and I didn't want to say no because I was- Woo! That's the only reason why I took it. Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Well, embezzlement is a lot more serious offense than shoplifting. But, but I didn't embezzle anything. Hand. Whoa! Just... Damn, he throwing the handcuffs on him like what? that? <laughs> Bro, you're a security guard. You're not a cop. Oh, come on, I bet you're- man. He's like, he's like, I bet you're wondering how I ended up here. Well, it all started with a story named, what was her name, Laura? I don't even know her effing name, bro. And here come Brady. Come on, man. What you have, hands off? Y'all have a lot to talk about. It's not that big of a deal. Come on, man. This isn't necessary. Come on, man. Dude, I'm just a teenager. Can I at least get a phone call? He said, this should feel like home to you. <laughs> he said, make yourself at home. I know how comfortable in jail you are. Are y'all gonna bond over how these hoes be tripping? Hey, uh, no offense, but aren't you like a nerdy kid at school? What are you doing here, man? I got accused of shoplifting at a clothing store I work at. Oh, this is the All mall. Over. No, 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 this is actual jail cell. Uh, this ain't the mall pit prison. You. Got caught using a fake ID trying to sneak me and my girl in a bar tonight. Bad idea. Go ahead and say your girl's name. At least Raven didn't get caught. You know? mm -hmm. Wait. Raven Styles? She your girlfriend? I don't know how else to say this. She's the reason I'm here. She's been flirting with me and. and I thought she liked me, but it turned out she was just using me. First for that pink dress she wore to her grandma's funeral. Wait, 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 wait. the sparkly one? Yeah. Dude, yeah, no. yeah. Have a date with me. <laughs> Look at them bonding. <sighs> Look at them bonding over how hoes be tripping. Do you feel dumb? Thank you, Brady, for 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 not being you know a douchebag to him. I was expecting Brady to like rub it in his face, like. Oh yeah, you know that dress you bought my uh that uh, Raven? Yeah, she wore it out with me. You think that's your girl? That's really my girl. I thought he was going to rub it in his face, but they're bonding over how these hoes be tripping. I love it. I love to see it. I feel dumb if she's been flirting with you. Sounds like she played both of us, man. She actually liked you, though, Brady. <sighs> All right, Brady. Way to get back at that's a fresh fit you got. I like it. You look like he know how to do a kickflip. <laughs> actually. Oh, security cameras? I may have an idea. Woohoo! Damn girl, do you shop at any other store? Are you at the store? Are you 
Aren't you worried about being there? Why would I be worried? It's not like Sheldon's still working here. He must have gotten fired and is probably still in jail. And she doesn't even care, Plus, man. Plus, Brady's taking me out again tonight. He's got two tickets to a Beyonce concert. Can you ah! believe it? He said to wear something special, so I have to find some. You don't come after Beyonce. I'll never crack a jug about Beyonce. Apparently she has. <laughs> Here's one of your jokes I'm ever going to say about Beyonce. I was like reading an article. Apparently, <laughs> Beyonce has bad breath. I don't know if it's true or not, but like <laughs> people who are around her described it as <laughs> some of the spiciest dragon breath they ever experienced. <laughs> If somebody ever describes my breath as spicy dragon breath, I will never say another word ever. My mouth will remain closed until the end of time. <laughs> Some spicy Komodo dragon breath. You were broke. That's that's Why wild. Why do you think I kept the tag on this dress? Since Sheldon bought it for me, I can just pretend like I never wore and exchange it for something else. Genius, right? Evil. No one would ever be able to find out. Hi, Raven. I gotta go. Bye. Glad you have zero awareness. Uh, Sheldon. Hi. I didn't think you'd be here. What a nice surprise. Did you want to buy that? Uh... You broke. Like, why do you keep coming to this well, store? I mean, yes, I, I would, but you don't I have money. <laughs> afford it, especially since I still owe you money. I just came here to check up on you. I was so worried about you yesterday. I know what he's gonna do. Oh, he's I'm gonna fine. return the Don't dress, get his money my back. My deposit just hit, so if you need to borrow more money, I don't mind. Especially since I'm assuming you were thinking of wearing this for our date. Yes, yes, that, that's exactly what I was thinking. For our date, because most of these women aren't worth a sack of beans. I'll buy it for you. I'll say it again. Most women are not. Okay, I don't want y'all thinking I'm a woman hater. I love women. I'm a huge feminist. I'm just saying majority of women and majority of men, it goes both ways. So, you know, I'm very fair. Majority of women are not worth a sack of beans. Not no damn Jack and the Beanstalk magic beans. I mean some garbanzo beans. They're not worth it, man. They're not. Don't stress yourself. <laughs> Don't stress yourself over these little fast little women. These girls fast as hell out here. <laughs> That's what they used to say back in the day, like when you was a uh, when you was a hoe. <laughs> They'll say you're fast. <laughs> they are not worth a sack of beans, bro. I promise you. All these people who are always saying, "Oh, my man gotta be gotta pay for a hundred percent of my bills whenever we go out. He has to pay. I ain't doing no 50-50. Trust me, trust me, trust me. There are plenty of women who do not think that way. Don't think all women are like that. Really? Mm-hmm. But just so you know, it wasn't cool how you threw me on the bus yesterday. We mm. both know you're, you're gonna the have to one make it up to me. Shirt, not me. Look, I'm sorry. Okay, but the fact that you were willing to take the fall for me it just means so much. It made me realize that you care about me as much as I care about you. Maybe one day you can even be my boyfriend. You see, that would have worked. Boyfriend, huh? What the hell? Pretty. Oh, he was wearing a wig. I thought he was wearing like a ski mask. I was like, bro, what? <laughs> boyfriend, huh? Pretty. What what are you doing here, and why are you just Sheldon dressing? told me that you've been flirting with him, and to be honest, I didn't know if I should believe it at first, but... There's the proof. Wow. Well, it's in the pudding. Seeing with my own eyes. No, I didn't mean any just I've heard said. enough, Raven. I'm just glad that you'll know what it feels like to be lied to. In jail. Damn! Damn. Don't even be sending these kids about? to jail, bro. I think I got out so fast. <laughs> I told them to check the security footage over there, and even though that helped, they said what they really needed was a confession. Then they'd let me off. That's why you're the one that stole the shirt, not me. Look, I'm sorry, okay? But the fact that you were willing to take the fall for me it just means so much. Caught red-handed. You were recording me? She's gonna, pull out, the, she's gonna pull out the white girl tears. 
You're under arrest. This man love arresting people. This is his favorite part of his day. <laughs> He's like, oh boy, I gotta arrest somebody. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You can't like, do this. No, you're a mall cop, bro. <laughs> no, oh, see that you remember this from- He wake up every day <laughs> polishing his handcuffs. Ooh, I wonder if I'm gonna arrest somebody today. <laughs> He be coming in quick as hell to slap them handcuffs, bro. <laughs> it's the highlight of his day, bro. Spanish class. Hasta luego, baby. <laughs> Hasta luego, hey, uh, baby. Thanks for helping me see the truth about him, man. It's a crazy guy. Now, Kith. Really liked it, too. Now, Kith. Yeah, I just gotta figure out who to take to this Beyonce concert tonight. You, know? you could take me. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, all like the Beyonce, single ladies, you? all the single ladies. Who doesn't like Beyonce? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. If all right. you like it, then you should have put a What did I say? If you like it, then you should have put a wig on. Uh, 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 u
Can you imagine just talking about casually going to the rooftop restaurant that is in Gucci? What? I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't even know there is a rooftop. Probably. It probably is a thing. That just goes to show you that I clearly don't have enough money. I'm not living rich like other people. Y'all be thinking YouTubers are rich. I'm telling y'all. No, we're not. <laughs> Like, yes, I can pay my bills, but do you see me whipping a Lamborghini? <laughs> yes. If I could, if I, if I could afford a Lamborghini, I would own a Lamborghini. Just let that sink into your head. <laughs> like not all of us are Mr. Beast and Jake Paul and KSI. Come on, kids. We're leaving. She loved that gun. I can't believe this is how you run things here. My kid comes home with an Cheap daycare reaction. company. Are you trying to tell me it's not your fault? Do I need to repeat myself? Unbelievable. What's this lady barking about, Naomi? Uh, she's trying to say we gave her kid peanuts. Why the hell would you want to leave you your kids no here? here. Uh, 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 <laughs> clearly, you have peanuts here. Oh, and FYI, peanuts are a choking hazard. Do you not care about these kids? Look, lady, you don't like it? You can pay the $65 and take your kids to some bougie place, all right? She ain't wrong. She is not wrong. Ain't nobody tell you to leave your kids here. I can't believe places like this even exist. Daycare is either too expensive or it's terrible. Just be prepared for a horrible experience. Yeah, what you pay for, right? 20 bucks? Yes. <laughs> um. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny as hell. It's like she just said it with the most annoyance in her voice. Like, damn, yes? What you doing here? Yes. <laughs> um, I was wanting to know a little bit more about this daycare for my kids. It's 20 a day per kid. You pay when you pick up. That's reasonable. Um, <laughs> These kids are miserable. Lunch? No. Do you teach them here? Look, lady, last time I checked, we need a school. Mom, we still make a school here. Hmm. Can't we just go to the other place? You got $65? Well, I ain't got all day. Are you gonna leave them or what? Please, please go. Okay, 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 okay. I'll cancel my interview. I'll cancel my interview. Oh. I'll take care of Martin. I'll be with you the entire time. Right, Martin? Saw bitchy. Don't worry. I promise. You're supposed to be a man, you Martin. You're supposed oh, to be yeah, a man. I'll be right back. It's okay. Okay, go ahead. It's gonna be okay. I'll be really quick, okay? Oh, um, Martin <laughs> can't have anything with sesame. She don't care. He's highly allergic. He will break out in hives. She does not He's care. Five. Don't be late to pick him up or they'll be waiting outside. She finna give him a Big Mac just for you for, for you saying that. All the sesame seeds. She doesn't say, add extra sesame seeds, please. Uh, we like it when candidates are excited about the company. I just have a few questions about your resume. You have a multi-year gap. Oh, here. that's when I was in jail. Um, yeah, so um, I used to be a stay-at-home okay. mom. I thought she was going to say I was locked I up. To be with my kids full and they time. wouldn't let me out. Um, and then... Um, my husband died. My husband, he, um... Uh, or he left okay. you for a younger it's woman? Okay. We'll talk about it. Thank you. Oh. It's my kids. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I understand. He has some sesame seeds. You seem like a really great person, Yesenia. And I'm a mom myself. My son. He's uh, taking me out to dinner for Mother's Day today. Aww. My son. Your son looks like he roofies college women. <laughs> Y'all know the look, the frat boy look. He's uh, taking me out to dinner for Mother's Day today. Aww. One of my favorite restaurants, which is very sweet of him. <laughs> I love that. Maybe you should answer it. I'm really sorry, but would you mind if I just grabbed it really quick to make sure everything's okay? Not at all, please. Oh, oh my God. just do it. Absolutely. Thank you so yeah. much. Hi, honey. Mom, I don't want to be here. You're so mean. Please come pick us up. Please. Mommy, so sorry, Martin. I'll be there soon, okay? I don't want to be here. Hurry. Okay, baby. 
This Mario kid pissing me off, bro. <sighs> Yo, mom is trying to get a job. That way you can live under the same roof you are currently living under. That way you can put food in your belly. That way you can buy Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for your Nintendo Switch. And you're over here complaining about having to be stuck in a musty home for an hour or two. Suck it up. Damn, yeah, bro, where's your resolve? Where is it? <sighs> you're not a main character, bro. You're not a main character. You're, you're at best, them in a, a reoccurring role. No, you're a guest star. On them. So there is nothing to apologize for, but if you need to go, no, I understand. It's no. called Tears of the Kingdom, no. right? <laughs> I really need this job. I, I hope that I didn't make a bad impression just now, but I want to promise you that even though I don't have all of the experience that you're looking for, I'm a hard worker. Damn, y'all hate that owner, game? And I am a great multitasker. Not only did I raise my own kids, but I would help out with my niece and nephew, so I'm used to long hours, staying up late, waking up early, and I am incredible with people. She seems like the she organization, is. Organization, ugh, I can manage any amount of moving pieces. I really, really need this job. You seem to have some amazing qualities. But? Oh, there's no but. No but. Okay. What's Martin doing? You annoy me, Martin. Go back to that place again tomorrow? Shut up! I feel so mean. All the toys are broken. Plus, the whole place smells like poo. I know. I know, honey. I am trying to find another daycare for you, sweetheart, but everything is just really- Like, I had bad babysitters, but like, I knew my parents, you know, that was all they could afford, because, you know, I did grow up in the suburbs, but I wasn't rich. So like, my parents both worked the night shift, they would leave us with a babysitter. You know, sometimes the babysitter would, you know, lure us all outside and then lock the door. <laughs> that way we can't get back in the house. <laughs> now that I think about it, you know, that's child abuse, but- <laughs> She actually lured us all outside and then locked us out. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Don't worry, that was the last day. That was the last day she ever babysit us, sat us. Like I, we told our parents, and my parents were pissed. But I don't know how she got us. It's like she lured us out here with cheese. <laughs> and she ran back inside quickly and locked the door. What the hell, man? Y'all probably y'all would not believe. It. Like you had a. Uh, it, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. There you go, guys. This man, Austin, is dead ass said, bro, shut up. Mom, I made Everybody, this for you. Let's make fun of Happy Austin. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, honey, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Austin, yo, oh, crusty ass. How come, how come we didn't draw dad? <clears throat> I know you got streaks in your underwear, Austin. You know, just because dad isn't physically with us anymore, it doesn't mean he isn't looking down on us and watching over us. Austin's watching this stream on a cracked I... iPhone. <laughs> Thank you so much for this, my love. I love it. You're so talented. Austin Thank has to ask girls, where's my hug? How are you going to eat? Oh, don't worry about me. I had a big lunch and I'm not hungry. I'm actually stuffed. <laughs> I bet she's starving. Her stomach about to, gr about to grumble. Eat. Martin, you haven't even started your homework. I tried. Don't blame the daycare. I, I couldn't understand it. Okay, well, let me take a look, I'll help. What is it? Did you get the job? Oh, um, I don't it's just, know. It's just addition and subtraction. Give me a call, so I hope so. Maybe that's that, give me a second. Ooh, hopefully it is, because you need this job, girl. Collect yourself. Hello? There you go. Hi, Miss Martinez. This is Barbara Wilson from Technical Solutions. I've got some good news. Oh my gosh. Did I get the position? She's gonna say psych. Ah, I got your ass. <laughs> she said, got your ass. <laughs> say you got good news for me man you take your good news and shove it up your ass <laughs> got your ass 
Got your ass. <laughs> Did I get the position? They wrong for that. Uh, not quite, but we are moving you forward to the next round. Okay, okay, she just oh. got to jump through some no, more hoops. Yes, when's the earliest you can come in? Um, as soon as possible. How's tomorrow? You name the time. Perfect. I'll send a confirmation email as soon as we get off the phone. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Honestly, bro, I feel like at this age, these kids can be home alone. Like, so, uh, they're not going to drown gonna... themselves. My edge up is looking all sorts of messed up right now. I'm sorry, guys. I need a haircut. Okay, so where were we? Um, 15 plus 16. I can't do it without a calculator. Double digits are just... Wait, what? I can't do... Um, 15 plus 16. I can't do it without a calculator. You can't add 15 and 16 without a calculator? No way. Ooh. <laughs> What is that? What has the education system been? The school system, bro, is coming. It's coming to crumbles. It, it's it's so sad. How is a boy your age can't do fifteen plus sixteen? Too hard. Of course you. But he know how to complain. Hey, that he knows. Hey, look at me. What I always tell you. You can do anything in life. He's definitely. <clears throat> he was definitely an iPad right? kid. You can tell. Yes. Okay, come on. Look, I'm gonna show you a trick. Ready? What's be, five? be with his That's iPad and this close to his face. Okay. <laughs> like this. Yeah. That's what iPad yeah. kids do, bro. Like, okay. damn. <laughs> and then, what's one plus one? Uh, two. Mm -hmm. Plus this extra one. Three. Mm -hmm. And then all together. Look, you did it the hard Three way. Yes! You just do 15 plus 15 plus one. Bring it in. Come on. Next one. Yeah, next one. <clears throat> all right. I'm liking everything that I'm hearing, and you not have eye break. <clears throat> like, what's wrong with you? As and I damn, Martin! <clears throat> Martin, what do you need, bro? He always calling for something. <laughs> Sorry. As like, I Martin, saying, you know where your mom is. Looks good. Leave her alone. The from the first two interviews that you had. This man, Martin, Martin bro. Like you. Considering everything, Yesenia, I'd like to offer you... Martin! For crying out loud. What is so important? I'm sorry. I just put my kids in a new daycare and they're not adjusting well. But I put my phone on airplane mode. Please, please continue. Martin, bro, you gonna cost your yep, Ms. Martinez. Wow, Martin, is stability going to be a problem for you? Wow, Martin, look what you done, Martin, bro. What is Ma Martin? I've been calling you. Is everything okay? No, it's Martin. <gasps> oh no, bro, he'll be fine. He's breathing, oh, right? Honey. Oh, oh, sweetheart, I'm so sorry this happened to you. They gave him crackers and they had sesame in them. I told you not to give him sesame. Whoa, dude. Watch your tone of voice when you're speaking to my sister. I specifically told your sister that my son had an allergy. Maybe the two of you should actually pay attention to the kids you're taking care of, and then my son wouldn't be covered in hives. What do you want me to do? Do I look like a doctor to you? <laughs> I like her, bro. <laughs> you know what? I'm done with this, and I'm never bringing my kids Right? Back. Like... They literally told you, you, you get what you pay for. Marion, you, you, you. No, you're not leaving. Oh, you gotta pay first. Not until you pay up. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not giving you anything. Do I look like I'm kidding? Oh, they mean, oh, they mean business. And she paid. I'm so sorry about everything. I've officially earned the title of worst mom. Don't say that. Yeah, you're the best mom ever. You're the worst son Everyone ever. Yeah, you do everything you can for us. We love you. Oh. <laughs> I love you both more than anything. She's a good mom, though. This woman does not have vibrate on her phone. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Yesenia. This is Barbara again from Technical Solutions. Yes? I don't think I'm she got the job. I'm calling to inform you that... Yeah, she... Unfortunately, didn't. Yep. didn't get the job. Well... Is there anything I can do to change your mind? 
I went through three rounds of interviews. Surely you see some potential. Please, I really need this job. I'll take any position. I I'm sorry, Miss Martinez, but their decision was final. Look what you did, Martin. Wait, wait, hello? Look what you did, Martin. Martin, look what you've done. Like, your mother is home right now. Did, did this change anything? Did this change? Has this changed? His face is still broken out in hives. You could have waited at the very least. Like, you know your mother's in an interview, bro. I'm not trying to downplay his allergic reaction. No, I'm sure it's it's very dire. But you're still breathing. I'm sure you had sesame seeds before and all you did was break out to hives. It's gross. It hurts. Yes. But your mother needs this job. So suck it up, bro. Ain't nobody tell you to eat those damn crackers. Like, you know you're allergic to sesame seeds and you want to eat some crackers at a random ass lady's apartment that you already don't like? I wouldn't even eat any of their food. Like, if their place smells like poop, the last thing I'm going to do is eat in there. Like, oh, Martin. Martin, Martin. Hey, don't touch me. I didn't get the job. And that means I have to start all over, and I don't even have a daycare to take you guys to. You don't need to find us a daycare. Why don't you just take care of us until school starts again? Shut up! I mean, honey. There's nothing more in the world I would want that to Is he this stupid? Time, but Does he not know parents need money? How about you can make money while taking care of us? Start your own daycare, you da like daycare business? Working from home? I'm terrible with computers. No. I mean, like starting your own daycare. You're terrible you with computers, but you kids. you wanted yeah. to get a job at a place oh with a place called Technical I, Solutions. I would have more fun to play with. Yeah, it's I good they didn't hire her. <laughs> I don't have any experience. Yes, you do. Being a great mom counts. You help us with our homework, and you cook food for us. I don't think you can put that on a resume. Kids. It's different with other people's kids. Took care of Alex and Rosalinda for a long time. Well, Tio Juan had to go back to Mexico? Yeah, but I would have to rent a location. And we don't have money saved. The last place we were just at was an apartment. So what's stopping you from doing it in years? Mmm. You see, I, li I like the daughter. Um, the lady said. I like the daughter. Like, she's smart. They're too expensive or they're too cheap and bad. How will you be right in the middle? 40 bucks. I don't know the first thing about starting a business, you guys. I just don't think I can do it. But you always tell us that we can do anything in life as long as we set our minds to it. Maybe not you, Martin. You don't know 15 plus 16. Well, and don't get too out of yourself, is, Martin. Unless you didn't mean what you said. I see welding in your future. Of course I did. Right, then it's settled. Me and Martin can help. Martin gonna be a mean ass welder. If you need a, if you need two pieces of metal. Martin welded it together convince their mom you better hit up martin own daycare business <laughs> the next day they all get to work 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 don't stop isabella yeah, work, helps work, design the logo yeah. while the mom works on getting permits to start the business and her phone still on martin vibrate helps out Some dry as popcorn the family starts handing out flyers trying to get the word out about their new daycare People seem excited about an affordable place with great service. Well, most people at least. Eventually, Yesenia starts getting some clients. She teaches the kids and does a great job taking care of them. The moms love Yesenia and start Ooh. recommending more parents. That's what I'm talking about, Yesenia. Get that money, girl. Screw One having a boss. By. Work for yourself. Yesenia is now doing so well that she has more kids and moves into a bigger location. She's so happy to not only be making good money, but also to be getting to do what she loves. You know what? I'll be, hi, I'll be right back. What's going on? Hi. Um, I remember Sonia. you. I know I have a balance. And unfortunately, I'm not able to clear that today. You see, things have been, have been really tough. And, but I have an interview today. You took all our customers. Why she roll off like she supposed to be on Sons of Anarchy? Us. Damn, bit. <laughs> you stole them from us. Now we have to close down. Look, ladies, 
I don't want any problems, so why don't you just go? Well, you got problems. Hey, now don't attack her daycare just because yours isn't doing well. You better get Molly walked. <laughs> to the kids you were watching. <laughs> you not say that. You're talking like you talking like grandma won't crack your ass. <laughs> this is the face of someone who means business, bro. <laughs> the face of someone with nothing to lose. <laughs> And not the uh, things they were allergic to, like you did my son, you might still be in business. Hey, watch who you're talking to. You watch who you're talking to. Ooh, this she got balls has been today. nothing but a blessing to me and lots of other hardworking parents. I will not let you treat her this way. Okay, she got balls How today. Do you talk to me and my sister like that, huh? Do I need to repeat myself? Mmm. Maybe I need to call the cops. Oh, Karen's love ha Come calling on, the sis. cops. <laughs> but this is a good Karen. This is a, this is a Karen we respect. We like this Karen. <laughs> the nerve. I know. Gosh. My back is killing me, guys. Anyways, mm. um, as I was saying, could you mm. please? Oh, don't worry about it. Timothy is always welcome here. We have a policy. No kid is ever turned away. Timothy, that's, go ahead and join the kid. That's a terrible policy. <laughs> you have no idea how much I appreciate that. <laughs> you have no idea how much I appreciate you having my back. Good luck on your interview. <laughs> Thanks. Her interview's at Wendy's. <laughs> no. Yes? No, Wendy's is a respectable job. Like, you got... <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's is a respectable job. I'm just trying to. Me and Martin made a drawing for you <laughs> for Mother's Day. You did? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> she gonna call what Yesenia? You Yesenia, I got it. <laughs> I'm the new <laughs> shift, shift line cook oh for Wendy's Incorporated. <laughs> I get 40% off meals. <laughs> they even said I can keep the hat. All right. That was daycare is mistreating their kids. What happens is shocking. I'm glad Yesenia was able to start her daycare business. She was able to um, become her own boss, make her own moolah, and not have to work for technical solutions. That just sounds like a... That sounds like a job where like you're gonna be in a cubicle all day. Uh, official NFB, thank you so much for that donation. He said, Prince, please play the new Zelda game on stream. It's amazing. I was fourth in line for it at Nintendo NYC. And I was on Nintendo's YouTube channel being an absolute menace. Please, I'm begging you, play it on stream. You know what? That's a game that I probably could. You know what? That's a game I probably could play on stream because there's a lot to do in that game, but it's just a matter of like, would y'all actually watch it? Maybe. I guess we'll have to find out. FNF guy, thank you so much for that donation. He said, you get more of my life savings because yes. Oh, thank you so much for that. Vol uh, Volumon, thank you so much for that donation. He says, Zelda is peak. Y'all agree with that? Y'all think Zelda is peak? I'm a huge Zelda fan. I do like Zelda games. I always love uh, playing Zelda games. I've been playing Zelda games for a very long time, but have yet to play Tears of the Kingdom. Why? Thank you so much for that donation. He said, here's my late fee, Big Daddy. Remember, guys, if you ever show up late to my streams, you got to pay that late fee. I don't make the rules. I simply enforce them. Um, and um, <clears throat> official with another donation, he said, bro, why does the sister have bigger balls than Martin? Like, bro, Martin was pissing me off. Martin was just, <laughs> Martin, is, Martin was the embodiment of why I don't want kids, man. So, thank you so much for that donation. He said, can you play Star Wars Jedi Survivor? All these games don't want me to play when the next game I'm probably going to play is the um, the Wolf Among Us by Telltale because the second one's coming out, right? But Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, that's 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 something I actually enjoy a lot. Star Wars Jedi Survivor, I feel like I'll suck at that game. I played the first one. It was fun, though. Forspoken or Forvoken, thank you so much for that donation. Hi, Prince. I've been sub since 10K. Wow. That was like 2016. I haven't had 10K since 2016, my guy. I appreciate that. 
Camden Edwards, thank you so much for that donation. Prince, can you do a live stream of all the SML movies that have came out in that week? That would be like creative, right? But no, I'm probably gonna do standalone videos. There's no reason to change that up. <clears throat> Furious Gamer, thank you so much for that donation. He said, can you play Pokemon and hide from Mexico? Ooh, he in Mexico with it. You just gave me some pesos. Appreciate that, bro. I went to Mexico on a cruise. I got me a couple of souvenirs. I love me Mexico. They're actually really nice to me. Like I was kind of like worried that they didn't really like black people in Mexico. And I'm sure they don't in some places, just like in America, just like in other countries. Like I'm never going to um, generalize any place. But it also could have been that I was an American tourist and that that's different because they think I have money, which, you know, if you're an American tourist going to Mexico, you probably do. All right. We got bratty teen runs away from home. What happens next is shocking. Let's get it. Mom, get the door. <sighs> These are things. Wait, I started late. There we go. Oh, Mom, same, same thing. <sighs> These are thank you would be nice. Sheesh. I mean, but you got up, right? Hi, I'm Delilah from Sunny Skin. I'm here for the spray tan. Spray tan. No, no, you have the wrong address. Are you sure? Is there not a Chloe Myers that lives here? Chloe called you. She never said anything about a spray tan. <laughs> Yo, like, I, I, I think she has some of the, the coolest eyes ever. One of them is blue, one of them is brown. Like, I forgot what that's called. Hemochromatosis? I don't know. It's 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 an actual thing. Like that's not a contact. That is her eyes, and I think that's the coolest thing. Probably one of the coolest thing ever. One blue eye, one brown eye. That's dope as hell. Give me a sec. All right. What is her teenage daughter doing? <clears throat> Get selling spray hey, tans online. Do what do you think you're doing? What does it look like? I'm dyeing my hair. No, you are not dyeing your hair. You are way way too young to be coloring your own hair. The blonde is in right now. Even Dixie D'Amelio just went blonde. I don't care if Dixie Cup or whoever <laughs> is blonde. You are not coloring Dixie your Cup. hair. <laughs> and would you mind telling me why somebody named Delilah is at the door right hey now? Hey there, Delilah. No, no, hold on. Wait, why are you trying to get a spray tan? You have never done anything like this oh, before. Oh, she, she's trying to get the spray tan. Delilah is giving her the spray Hello? tan. Earth to my daughter. Lil Pop? Earth to my Who, daughter. What? She takes me a boy named Lil Pop. <laughs> what? Okay, she missing with a, a, a street, a street. Uh, I don't know why I feel so bad saying the N word, even though I can. It just feels weird because like, I don't know. I feel like y'all feel uncomfortable when I say it because I don't, I rarely say it. But she's she messing with a street dude. She's messing with a street guy. Lil Pop? Nah. Wear something cute, he said. Who is texting you? What are you doing? My man, Lil Pop, Can mom. You, like, not look at my phone? <laughs> Gosh, mom, you don't understand. Lil you Pop's gonna know, make I'm it. He gave me his mixtape, mom. Lil it was Pop. some hot fire. You mean the rapper with the gold teeth who flunked out of Bookside? No, absolutely not. No, no, no. What's wrong with gold tea? Going out with him. You can't stop me. There's yes, plenty of things can. wrong. <laughs> I am your mother. And besides, even if you were allowed, which you are not, tomorrow's Mother's Day. We had the whole day planned. We were gonna do pancakes for breakfast, go to Darla's for lunch, and we were gonna make your fettuccine Alfredo. Yeah. Well, not anymore. I'm going out with Lil Pop tomorrow. <laughs> no move, I need to go to Lila. What is Lil Pop's real name? Is it pa Pablo? No, it can't be. Pa hey, pa sorry to keep you waiting. Come on in. What name has no, a P.O.P. in I it? I won't allow it. I'm sorry, but you need to go. Poppy seed? Mom, stop. You're embarrassing me. Listen well, look, to that's me. a bagel. You are not dyeing your hair. You're not getting a spray tan. And you are certainly not going on a date with Lil Pop. Apparently <laughs> <So laughs> she said it right. Control me. She I'm said, "Lil." Years old now, not a little girl. Lil Pop. You have to listen to your dumb rules. Rules are not dumb. They are important. And as long as you live under my roof, you Someone will listen Pablo to my from rules SML. <laughs> and abide by them. Then I won't live under your roof anymore. How about that? 
They don't want no Did smoke. You say little pop. It's not like little. Juvie three times. It's Lil. Exactly. Lil Pop. And Chloe wants to go on a date with him tomorrow. Can you believe it? Maybe she'll let her go. What? Have you lost your mind? Hear me out. Remember when our parents used to- Yeah, I was just about to say that. You you have to let them make their own decisions. That way they realize their decisions are dumb. Because like, if you tell them no, you can't do that. Something weird happens in teenager brains, like where their parents say, "No, you can't do that." They suddenly, they suddenly have to do what you just said. You can't do. It's just crazy. We were kids. You got to hit them the with the reverse psychology. To is to By touching the stove. There you go. Exactly. There the you go. They're trying to teach us is that everyone has to learn from their own mistakes. Thank you. So what you're saying is you want our daughter to get burned? Maybe not no, STD burned. Figuratively. Linda, look, I know it's hard. Okay, but you guys fight all the time. What happened to your chin? Every other week she wants to move out. The more that you're trying to control her, the more it's working against you. This time, let her see for herself. All right, I'm out. I'm going to stay with Stacy. <clears throat> okay. This man Hubba Bubba said, I've never That's heard it? of Zelda. You're not gonna warn me about you. how I'm ruining my life or try to stop me? Nope. I, I won't get in your way. Look at her. <laughs> oh, Lil Pop is gonna burn you. He gonna give you chlamydia. He gonna give you gonorrhea. Look at her. She don't even want to really do it. She she just she just wanted to argue with her parents. Look at you. Nah, man. I'm sorry, Dad, but maybe she should learn her lesson from somebody who is not named Lil Pop. Cause I promise you, <laughs> Lil Pop is gonna toss your daughter like a salad and then pass it, pass her to the homies. If he really is a rapper with gold teeth, that's what they do. They rap about it all the time in their music. Yeah, I hit it and then pass it to my homies. Like what? This is gonna work. I'm starting to think, I'm starting to think some rappers are a little uh, LGBTQ. Like yeah, what is up with their obsession with passing I it to their homies? Staying at your house if that's cool with you? Yeah, but- um... You can't stay here. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, don't you want to spend it with your mom? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm so done with her. Oh, by the way, I was going to get a spray tan and dye my hair before my mom went berserk on me. Is it cool if I do the hair? Sure. <laughs> You're the best. This is going to be the best weekend ever. I'm so excited. Okay. When the Disney Channel original movie. <laughs> uh. Wait, wait, this is Lil Pop playing. I just, I, I just realized this has to be Lil Pop, right? Let's listen to it. Garbage! You're, you suck, Lil Pop! You suck, man! That's trash! <laughs> this is the kind of song you'll hear at a, a youth a youth church camp. <laughs> this is a song that your youth pastor plays for y'all. <laughs> Brother Gerald, come with Christ. <laughs> oh, something's gonna go bad. Her spray tan or her hair looks bad. Ooh, you're a Smurf. Not a Smurf, uh, Oompa Loompa. I don't think that's the blonde you wanted. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> Um, hey, is everything okay? Ah! <laughs> I'm like an old lady carrot. You do. There's no way I can go on a date like this. I can't even go to school. Okay, don't, uh, don't panic. Just, just try to stay calm. What do you mean stay calm? School's not until tomorrow, right? And your date's not until tonight. So, we can, we can, we can fix this. It actually looks like the hair color an e-girl would have. Hair. Yeah, we could. We could go to a salon. Oh, I can't afford a salon. There's an e-girl right now with hair color just like that. Yeah, let's let's go to the bullseye. Okay, but I'm waiting in the car. 
Okay. I hope she's okay. And we got a lot of pancakes on that plate. I really thought she'd come home this morning. Yeah, I know, honey. But look, gotta stick with the plan, okay? She didn't even meet with Lil Pop yet. I need to see how Lil Pop looks. Was that really his music we were listening to earlier? Maybe. Okay. I'll mix it. You just go shower and scrub off as much of the tan as you can. Okay. Oh, she's alone on Mother's Day. That is sad. No mother should be alone on Mother's Day, bro. That's your mother. She pushed your big ass watermelon head ass out of her pinhole vajayjay. You can at least show up for her one day out of the year. Come on, man. Aww. I gave my mom some money for val Valentine's for Mother's Day. Um, actually, could I just get the check for my lemonade? Thanks. You have to give her a free dessert, bro. I would give her a free dessert if I was working there. No, I wouldn't. I don't want to get. Damn. Uh, can you please explain to me how the heck this happened? How does it get worse? I mean, that's still an e-girl oh, hair color. I, I mixed everything perfectly, just like it said in the instructions. Damn. Like freaking she looking like, uh, who is that anime character? Rimuru Tempest? Tempest! Marge Simpson now. <laughs> Nobody wants to date Marge Simpson. Okay, Rimuru. And look at my body. Only some of the spray tan came off. Now we just have orange spots everywhere. Okay, I, try not to panic. I mean, we still have time. We can <clears throat> fix this. Is that a little pop? Yo, girl, let's meet 30 minutes earlier. I forgot it's Mother's Day. How are you gonna forget it's Mother's Day, man? I need to see I need to see who this little pop character is, man. I need to see who Lil Pop is. Chloe? Oh. Damn, she waking up in a cold sweat. She still hasn't called. Maybe I should No, don't call her. Nah, don't bro. Around, I promise. Like, I agree with the, you know. Okay. She has to learn her own lesson, but supposed to make me fettuccine Alfredo. not with somebody who's named Lil Pop. All right, let's see. Let's see this. Man. <laughs> There's Lil Pop. So I guess we were listening to his song earlier. There's no way they're going to make him black. Why? Why are you dressed like that? <laughs> long story. Are you going to eat with that in your but teeth? If you want to know. <laughs> I know it's horrible, right? I mean, it's not good. <laughs> but luckily, no one here really knows me. Damn, he said I, I can't be out in public if, not, if, if they days. knew me. No rush. I'll check on you. Actually, I am in a rush. <laughs> Make the stay. Rare. Ugh. Like blood pouring out of it when I cut it. <laughs> you know it. Okay. And Ew. for you? Who gets their steak rare? Uh, let me see. Might as well, you might as well go and buy the cow. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> for real? Like, like, you only eat plants and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, she'll do that uh, that one. So, named after that, that dude, what was his name? What was his name? Caesar? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on, I'm actually curious now. Is Caesar salad named after Julius Caesar or is it literally just the name? Hold on, I gotta look it up. Is Caesar salad named after Julius Caesar? Many, many people likely believe, hold on, I'll just put it up for y'all. Many people likely believe that the salad was named after Buddha, but it's actually not. It was invented by Italian man Caesar Cardini sometime in 1924. Okay. So it was just named after an Italian man who is not Julius Caesar. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Ooh, y'all being so kind to me in these donations. Ooh. I'm going to read them out because y'all are being so kind to me. Um, <clears throat> Forvoken said, Prince, can you watch Alex Bell theories? I, I will do a live stream where I watch theories. I feel like that would be a good live stream to do where I just like react to like, you know, other people's theories and like other channels and whatnot. Y'all tell me which one y'all like the best. So said Phineas and Furbass song. <laughs> it's 104 days of summer vacation. 
<laughs> and school comes around just to end it. <laughs> It's King Trey. Thank you so much for that donation, bro. Can I please be a mod? I've been your fan since 2017. I have seen you in the stream a lot. I'll go ahead and add you as a standard moderator. There you go. There's your coordination. You're now standard moderator. It's, just, it's King Trey. Death soon. Thank you so much for that donation. Huge donation, bro. Thank you for that. He said, how are you, fam? I am doing excellent. I hope you are doing great as well. I hope all y'all are doing great. Thank you so much for that. Huge donations. Death soon. And just Bran Lee said, hi, Prince. Hi, Bran Lee. Is your name like Bruce Lee or is it just Bran Lee? This man said after that one guy. I mean, I guess he was right. It is named after a guy. I know. Like I said, I got to see my ma, so kind of in a hurry. This is the guy that you're so in love with? I'm sorry. I have to go to Stacy's and check on Chloe. No, I, I'm just gonna tell her. I don't care if you wanna dye your hair. I don't care if you wanna get a spray tan. I don't even care if you wanna date some creepy guy. Little pop. I just want my baby back. That's oh, all that matters. Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. Good. Uh, Good bring the check when you come back around, okay? Who eats a steak like that, bro? That is disgusting. That, that steak is mooing still. Ew! Ooh, extra bloody. Just how I like it. Come on, gotta eat your food, Becca. Becca? Oh, her name's not her Becca. Name's not Becca. <laughs> oh, I, I Becca. He I got his that. hose mixed up. If you don't like your salad, try a bite of this. Yeah, she's a vegetarian. Ooh, yum. Oh, the fettuccine, the fettuccine Alfredo. Alfredo looks amazing. <laughs> Thanks again for bringing me. Can't here. be that good. It's Alfredo. Of course, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Ooh, hey, damn. Baby. Sorry, I'm early. I didn't really. I like that little walk she did. Look. Mm. Hey, babe. Hold on. One more time. One more time. Hold on. Mm, girl. Hey, babe. One more time. One more time. Mother's Day. That walk was sexy as hell. Mm. Hey, Sorry, I'm early. I didn't realize you'd be here so early. Who are you? Oh, that's Becca. Who are you? I am Becca. Oh, that's an upgrade. Little Pop's date. And as far as I'm concerned, you're in my seat. Mm, let her know, Becca. I let her know. meeting your mom later. <laughs> this is why you moved our date. Do you have any idea what I went through for this date? I fought with my mom. I ruined my hair. Look, Charlie, I'm not trying to be mean, but have you looked in the mirror? <laughs> I don't want to be seen with your Oompa Loompa looking self. <laughs> you just scurry on back to Wonka's factory where you belong. Oh, Lil Pop, get her, bro. Get her, Lil Pop. Go home. Maybe I do look like an Oompa Loompa, but at least I'm not some trashy wannabe rapper. Oh. And since I don't want the salad that you so graciously don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You can have it. <laughs> Women, don't ever do something like that. Don't ever do something like that, bro. Especially not to a guy named Lil Pop. Are you serious? Lil Pop sounds like he hits women. <laughs> he sounds like he'll mollywop a bitch. <laughs> he'll, he'll hit you with that mean pip slap. Don't do that, women. You don't know. For generally speaking, most men won't hit a woman. I hope I won't. But you don't know which guy you're, you're you're talking to currently. You don't know which guy will hit a girl and which won't. So don't test your luck. Cause throwing food on me will piss me off. I'm not saying I'll hit oh, you, but I'm not saying I won't hit Mother's you. Mother's Day. I've got the dishes. Oh, thank you, honey. Yeah. Oh, it's probably Chloe. I'll get it. Linda, hi, happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you, you too. 
Um, I was wondering, is Chloe here? No, I thought you knew. Kitty Gamer, thank like you for subscribing. I like your name. Pop? I think that's his name. Right. I was just hoping she'd be home by now. I'm sorry if I interrupted anything. Oh, you're not interrupting anything, and you're more than welcome to come inside. Yeah, go ahead and get you a little okay. Mother's Day vibe on. Thanks. Aw. You have a good evening. I know, she just wants her daughter. She just wants her daughter. Is there gonna be fettuccine Alfredo making, uh, being made? Oh, look at her! She's here! Sweetheart, what happened to... I know, I know, I look horrible. Turns out, you were right about everything. Gotta learn your own mistakes. I now that rules aren't dumb. You let a kid They're burn wrong. himself on the stove, he ain't gonna touch that and stove ever I again. Just to you, this nightmare every day wouldn't have happened. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. I hope it isn't too late for us to celebrate. I made your favorite, fettuccine Alfredo. I hate Alfredo so it's much. It's never too late for my daughter's famous pasta. I want to know why. That's all girls know how to make. Because <laughs> the Alfredo sauce comes in a damn jar and they just need to add the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Women will Alfredo you to death. <laughs> I can't... I can't eat anymore, man. Honey, I made Alfredo for dinner again. <laughs> I remember a girl made me so much Alfredo, bro. So much Alfredo. <laughs> I couldn't handle it. This is turning out to be a much better Mother's Day than how it started. How about first thing in the morning, I take you to a salon and get all of this figured out. But I have school tomorrow. I can't miss. You can miss one I day. I said rules are important. They are, but this is a very special case. Yeah, she don't want you to get ripped up at school. Is it really that bad? It is. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, this looks good. The dad's like, my job here is done. <laughs> He's going to go to Home Depot tomorrow and celebrate. I feel like that's what dad's love doing, going to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right all right all right all right xavier O, oh, thank you so much for that donation what kind of currency is that are you from uh qatar qatar how the hell do how the hell do you pronounce that <laughs> the fly the fly emirates <laughs> Gage gave me. Thank you so much for that dono. Last Monday was my 16th birthday. Last message deleted. Gage, I feel like you've had you've had 12 16th birthdays. I don't know what to believe anymore. And TJ, so cool. Appreciate that donation. All right. We got pretty girl uses nerd to go shopping. What happens next is shocking. I better be shocked, Darman. These. Are they hot or are they hot? Yes. yes. I think I'm gonna wear them to that new club tonight. Yes, they're so cute. Yeah. But you do know they're red bottoms, right? Blue yeah, batons? Yeah, like thousand dollar shoes. Woo. There's no way you're gonna be able to afford them. Mm -hmm. Unless you hit the lotto or something and didn't tell us. <laughs> right? Actually, I did because. She has hey, a simp. Babe. Sheldon! No, that's who you're dating. Sheldon! Edward? Please tell me you're joking. What's I his name, Edwin? You're dating? Newton Winward? Newton? Please tell me you're joking. Your parents didn't even give you a chance. Newton? Sorry I was late. I got lost on the way here. I'm gonna call him Sheldon. I like Sheldon more. Oh! <laughs> hey, <you're laughs> uh, you remember Emily Olivia from high school? Sheldon! So, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call him Sheldon. What do you think? About? Oh, uh. We have Nelson and we have Sheldon. Those are two people with permanent names on my channel. About wearing them on our date tonight. No, you don't need to buy these for me. I think you look great in anything. You can buy it for you. It's our one month anniversary. Of course, I'm gonna go all out. How are those working out for you? They're perfect. I'll take them. Great. They're some bloody $1, shoes. dollars without the tax. Uh, is that gonna be cash or credit card? Twelve hundred dollars. That's so expensive. Chill. Apparently in other countries, they work the tax into the price already. 
to like, if you go to another country, like what you see, and let me know if this is true for everyone who is watching this right now and doesn't live in America. Like what you see on the, like, you know, the price tag is literally what you pay for because the tax is already worked in versus in America. Like what we see is not what we pay for. We have to add tax afterwards. Ain't that some shit, right? Let me know. Let me know. Live. Uh, it'll be card. If I can just. Oh no! Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. What's wrong? Gosh, I can't believe it. I just realized I forgot my card at home. It's okay. Honestly, you don't need them. Even what you're wearing is fine. No, I want to look extra special. It's true. For you. I can't wear these. Thank you, Dante, for confirming. Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm just so, so sad now. Come on, Sheldon. We oh, Sheldon is the is the Darman simp. Um, <laughs> he got typecasted. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll. Get them for you. This man Trayvon says Sheldon's a really? bot. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to do that. It's really, it's too much. Are you sure? I want you to be happy. But if you don't, that's... Well... Oh! If you insist. I'm Played him like a fiddle. <laughs> you can put it... Played him like 2K. Thank you. Right this way. Thanks so much, sweetheart. Oh, isn't he just the best? I mm -hmm. love him so, so much. <laughs> I told you I won the lotto. I mean, if if he's hitting it, you know, I've got him wrapped around my face. At least it's not all for <laughs> all for nothing. But if he's not even hitting it, which he probably I isn't. Got you that too. You got, you got her a YSL. I need to find me a rich dorky guy mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Seriously. You look, you look dorky you yourself. With him, how are you going out with us later tonight? Oh, are you kidding me? There's no way I'm gonna choose dinner with that loser over partying it up with my girlies. <laughs> I'll just uh, cancel on him and tell him I got a stomach bug. Or he something. is definitely not hitting. <laughs> you really gonna do that? She didn't even let him kiss her. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> oh, Lee Sheldon. All right, got your shoes. Sheldon. Actually, there's one more store I have to go to. Sheldon. <laughs> this oh. is so soft. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Isn't this jacket to die for? That looks expensive. I'll tell you that much. It definitely make my outfit tonight. Probably not expensive, yeah, but you know, but it's fur. Do you really need it? It looks expensive. Yeah. I just want to look perfect for you. Especially because you are so handsome. The sales lady is listening to this right now and just Hi. knows she's playing him. How much is it? Look at her, look at her. Well, it's... Look at her! <laughs> She'll do anything to make this sell. She know this lady is playing Sheldon like a fiddle right now. Real she don't care. Fur, which I have to warn you, you can't get it wet or dirty or it will completely ruin it. It's 4,500. 4,500? I don't think you need anything that expensive. Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Why not? Do you think I'm not worth it? No. It's not that at all. How would you even pay for it? I thought you said you left your card at home. I know, silly. I'll just put it on hold and then come back for it. Actually, let me call my sister and see if she can bring my card. Then I don't even have to go home. So. What? Putin. Are they gonna try? I'm getting Jenny for your anniversary. Are they gonna try to get with him too? Got her flowers and chocolates. They want to get bought stuff too. <laughs> is there something oh no they're in on it oh, flowers and chocolates are nice if we were in high school okay. that's not gonna impress a woman our age especially of jenny's caliber i'm pretty sure her last boyfriend got her flowers for their anniversary and he didn't last more than six weeks well then um i need to pick the right ones to date now suggest? can you think of anything that she really wants Something that she would consider is to die for. The jacket? Is he, gonna, is he gonna buy it? I should buy the jacket for her. Woo! No, no, I'm definitely not saying that. I mean, that would be really nice and all. Look at these conniving evil women, bro. Necessary. 
Yeah. Look at them just conspiring. We were looking to really win her over. Mm -hmm. Because between us, gifts is Jenny's love language. Um, should I surprise her with it or just give it to her? <sighs> Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Oh, that's so Oh, Sheldon. Crazy. Everything she said about you was so right. I want it better for you, Sheldon. I want it more for you. I'll get it for her now. That way she can wear it before the club tonight. Oh, you slipped up. Dinner tonight. I meant your anniversary dinner. You slipped up. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to the club. Yeah. You okay. slipped up. Here goes. Sheldon, 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 Sheldon. That was so oh man, Sheldon. All right. So that be cash or credit? Credit. She gonna swipe your card quick as hell since you hand it for her, hand it to her. That way you can't change your mind. I don't know what revenge you can get on this girl. You just spent forty five hundred dollars, like, and she still stood you up. Hey, just a heads up, the kitchen's gonna be closing soon. Um. Okay. Uh she should be here any second. Woo! Okay. Embarrassing. That waiter, that waitress knows she ain't gonna be here. <laughs> you can give him all the seconds in the world. She ain't never coming. Oh, Sheldon, 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 man. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me story. Wait, isn't your boyfriend gonna see? Oh, please. I'm not an idiot. You blocked, I blocked him. him yeah, that's what they do. <laughs> in here. Giovanni, thank you so much for being a member for four months. He said, my anger issues Cheers. could never. Cheers. It's easy, bro. You just got to know. You just got to pick the right ones, man. Like, trust me. Let me see the picture. Don't even think about it too much. So like, <laughs> most women show their true colors. Most men show their true colors. You just got to listen. That's it. Like, people will tell you the exact kind of person they are. All you have to do is listen to them. That's it, bro. Wait, you didn't cancel on him? No, I forgot to earlier. He actually showed up to <laughs> the dinner and everything. So sad. Then why not so tell him you're not coming now? Because my best excuse is to say that I lost my phone. So I can't respond to him now. <laughs> so you're just going to leave him there waiting all night by himself? Oh, do you suddenly have a change of heart? Okay, I was about to say, like, ladies like we have VIP open. Yeah. Bro, you're fifty. Great. Go home. Thousand dollar minimum. Okay, okay. I thought he was trying to spit game. Never mind. I thought he was trying to spit game. Okay. Not interested. Oh, I was just gonna ask if I could buy you a drink. Well, in that case, we'll take three of your best tequila. Top shelf, please. Casamigos. Don Julio. <laughs> Jose Cuervo. No, that's not top shelf. Um, How much exactly is top 1942? shelf? 1942. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure I've already told this story before, and I don't even care at this point for me pausing so much. It's a reaction video. You'll get over it. But I was out at the club, uh, me and my homeboy, right? <laughs> my best friend, Ducksworth. Y'all may remember him. He used to do... Uh, videos on YouTube. Oh my gosh, he is so hilarious. So like we was talking, or I was talking to these two girls in the club, right? It was her and her friend. And then, you know, I had my homie. So I was gonna like talk to them and then, you know, bring them to him. That way it's one-on-one, -on -one. we each got a girl. So a simple way to like, you know, spit game, talk to a girl, get her attention for a you know good amount of time is to take shots with them. You ask them, hey, you trying to take shots together? These these women <laughs> wanted top of the line Don Julio tequila, bro. <laughs> My friend was like, what do y'all want? <laughs> she was there like Don Julio. And this man just said, no, you don't. <laughs> and walked away. <laughs> oh, he is not gonna spend money. <laughs> On an expensive ass tequila, just to just to get a girl a shot. Hell no, he said no, y'all don't. <laughs> just walked away. <laughs> That's G status right there. Good, good. Um, well, I guess they could be better. I was supposed to be celebrating my one month with my girlfriend, but I haven't heard. That is not your girlfriend. Right. 
Yeah, for sure. Is he smashing Jen? I think she's at Nightingale right now. Oh no, he just saw her story. I saw it on her story. The club? No, you're you're probably talking about someone else. Not my girl. My girl would never do that to me. That's weird. I don't see anything. Woo, she She blocked your ass. I see it on my phone right here. Look. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Oh my gosh. I don't understand. Looks like she lied to you, man. I guess some people just never change. Wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. What, you haven't heard the rumors? Well, I got some stories about Jenny if you want to know. Do you want to know? Honestly, bro, I'll just break up with her. I won't. Yeah, I'll probably want to know. Because, like, if I'm going to break up with you, I don't care about you no more. So you can tell me whatever. Hey. Any ladies want to know? Okay, dance? static shock. Do you have a table here? Well, no, but. Not interesting. Hey, Virgil. Hawkins. I said get lost. He's not even talking to you. He's talking to your friend. I hate women like that. Like she, she seemed interested. Like she seemed like she wanted to go and hang out with him. Get lost. Oh my God. It's always that one girl who's like not having fun and has to ruin the fun for everybody else. Oh, there goes Sheldon. Oh my gosh. Isn't that new? Or yes. Yeah. No, we call him Sheldon, not Newton. What's he doing here? He put the he put the shades on. That's how you know he mean business. Jenny, I'm surprised to see you here. I waited for you for two and a half hours at the restaurant. I texted you like ten times. Why didn't you answer me back? Oh my gosh. Uh, the thing is, I lost my phone. It's in your hand. Is that? Not your phone in your hand? You're not even a good liar, oh. bro. <laughs> it, it is. Um, I, I just found my phone. It was in my purse, actually. <laughs> oh, <gosh>. Oops. Oopsies. <laughs> <Silly> me. <laughs> uh, that's all right. I understand. You know what? Since we're all here, how about we get a table? Really? Yeah. My treat. Are you really going to pay for a table to get revenge on her? You literally can get away with anything. Is he really going to buy a table just to get back at her? <laughs> Bro, you just spent a thousand dollars for revenge? <laughs> no. Sheldon. Wow. That coat does look great on you and so do the shoes. Thanks. You're so sweet to buy them for me. <laughs> I have your bottle of Ace of Spades. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, I know what he's gonna do. I can't believe you got another bottle. Isn't each one like $300? Girl, no. I saw the menu, it's $1,500. <laughs> it's really expensive, that's for sure, but anything for my baby. <laughs> You're spending all- the first pour, my love? <laughs> that sounded so sexual. You wanna have the first pour of my love? <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry guys, but I'm, I'm not down with this. I'm not down with it at all. I don't care whatever revenge he has planned for her. He already bought the coat. That was 4,500. The Louboutins, that was, 50, that was 1,200 with tax. Call it, I don't know, 1,400. So that's uh, $5,900 he already spent. That bottle of alcohol, that champagne he's about to open was $1,500. So that's um, $7,400 so far. He spent $7,400, $7,400 and all the only thing that she's going to lose is him. He's just going to break up with her. But she got a table. She got a drink. Or I don't even know if they're going to drink this. I think he's going to shake it and pour it on her. But <laughs> Sheldon, bro, you're spending this amount of money to just break up with her. I say save your money. Don't buy the table. You know, casually ask to see her coat. That way you can return it on your own. And the shoes, like... Get your money back, bro. Don't spend yes. more. All right, here it goes. Ah! Oh no, oh. Newton, why would you do that? Oh. Oh. Whoops, it was an accident. Same way it was an accident that you didn't show up to dinner, right? I don't know what you're talking about. And besides, you should- You know what, save it. 
I know all about you. And how you go from guy to guy just using them for money. Turn up, Sheldon. Me from your story and Turn up. Go out clubbing and I know that you never loved me. The only thing you loved about me was my wallet. So, you wasted $1500 though. Babe. You bought $1500 bottle of champagne and Where wasted it. And now you're never you're not even going to set the table you just bought. I guess he's rich. I guess he's rich. Whenever you're ready. This oh, he, he didn't he didn't pay for it. Oh, well. He already left. So, you got to pay for it. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sheldon. For this I'm broke. Mm, same. It's always the the hoes with expensive taste who are broke. Look, look, watch. Crazy, right? You got to be kidding me. Return your coat. You can afford it. Let me see how much money I have in my purse. Oh, someone stole Wait, your purse? Have you seen my purse? I can't find it anywhere. Not interesting. <laughs> you go, Static Shock. <laughs> oh, Sheldon, I'm glad. I'm very glad Sheldon didn't pay for that table. And that he didn't pay for that bottle. I'm over here thinking he paid for it. I was like, nah, man, nah, man. You can't be spending that kind of money to break up with a girl. But, you know, he proved me wrong. He proved me wrong. Woody McQueen, thank you so much for that donation, bro. Appreciate it. He said, hey, my G, it's been a long time since the Darn Man stream. Can I have a mod? Also, you're a number one YouTuber. Also, you should play Valorant. Woody McQueen, how about this deal? If I see you in my next stream, I will give you a mod. That just uh, all depends on you making my next stream. If you don't, then... I don't know, man. GG. Sorry. No mod. I feel like that's fair. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to uh, cut the video or live stream off there. My back is killing me. It's almost 10 p.m. here. I still have to hit the gym. And my mouth is dry and all that crazy stuff. But let me know down in the comment section below which video out of all the ones we just watched was your favorite. Let me know how your day went. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that great stuff. Um, yeah, if y'all have any last messages for me, speak now. Forever hold your peace. I'm going to sip on my water and then end the stream. And just for the record, I have no issue with spending money on women. Trust me, like... When you really like someone and they like you back, spending money on them, buying gifts, like that's a very normal thing to do. I respect it. I have nothing against it. I, I, I don't respect it when it's so obvious that the person is using you just for those things. And like a lot of people want to act blind to it too. But, you know, I guess not everybody can be me. Not everybody can be Prince Charming. But yeah, without further ado, that was it for this live stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Prince Hawkum. Stay charming, my friends. Ugh. Peace.